Alright. What's up, Button? Now it is a Vulcan. Alright, so... Today we're gonna be doing a uh, RE4 Remake All Achievements speedrun. Which means we gotta get all the Steam achievements. Um, in order to do that, I had to restart my save. And also... Um, use Steam Achievement Manager to get rid of all my achievements. So if you look... I have no completions of anything. I uh, only have the DLC stuff, which I'm not going to be allowed to use except for the costumes. Um, I don't have Pro Unlocked. And if we go... Where is it? Where are the challenges? Uh, bonuses? Challenges. Yeah, I have one challenge completed and that's just changing the costume. So all... The good thing about deleting your save data is it re removes... It revokes all the challenges that you did. And that's super essential for this run. Like, just getting rid of the achievements is not enough because you use this a lot. Um, but I've read online that to get all the achievements in the game, you need to do at least four playthroughs. This is total bullshit. You can do it in two, which is what we're going to do today. I'm expecting it to be about seven hours long. Somehow we go for it. I can use OG side, effect, side effects if I want to, but not like, no Skull Shaker or the other pistol, right? So let's get it going, because this one's gonna be long as fuck. Oh yeah, thanks for the support. Ban hit gaming big weed for four months. Yo, Ban hit, thanks for the four months, dude. Um Bany has updated the mod, so we're gonna be using the SoCo mod. Because why not? <laughs> hey, Arton. Thank you for the good luck, Caesar. Nice mod, thank you. Bigger hitbox, rip. No, it's the same. Anyone home? It's the same. I did turn off Mousely. This is the only mod that's on right now. Let's hope this one doesn't break post M14. Yeah, hopefully. It's a Venus. You swear in chat? Fuck, no you can't! You beat me to it, identical. Actually, I beat you to it, but, you know. All good. So one new game hardcore playthrough and a new game pro? No, new game assisted and new game pro S+. Plus. So the plan is... We're doing new game assisted, no merchant, no heals, pistol and knife only, while also getting all of the side quests, all the merchant requests, collecting every single treasure, doing the shooting gallery, all that stuff. Um, and then the second playthrough will be a new game pro S plus run. I have notes over at where everything is. All the treasures and stuff, so that should make it a lot easier. Let's take a look. Any parts where we need to remind you of stuff? Yeah, honestly, like if I if you know of a treasure that I am like just walking past. Do I go in here? I'm not allowed to go to the merchant. I also can't heal. Yeah, I guess there's no reason to go in there. Yeah, if I'm like if there's a Castilian nearby or like a treasure that I should be grabbing, just yell at me. I have a list of everything, but I could miss stuff still. And I'd rather just be like, actually, I already got that instead of being like, oh shit, I missed it. My stealth kill. Name hey, assist is on. I hate assisted. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, and more. Six, seven. Oh, the FOV like really close. It feels close. Yeah, 
Ja, das ist... So y'all gotta remind me to not heal. <laughs> there we go. Huh? To kill the chainsaw guy for the treasure? Nah. It's only static treasure drops. So velvet blue on the roof. Ruby in the case. Is RE4 remake worth buying in your opinion? It depends what $60 is worth to you. Okay, the Castilian is near the end of chapter one in the ceiling of the optional room. Okay, so I can't do the out of bounds at the end of the chapter because I need to grab that. Yeah, you can't do Ashley Skip either because you need the treasures. I needed that ruby. I also need the flagon. And uh... It reminded me about the medallions too. Yeah, I can turn the game sound up a bit. Does it include all merchant quests? Yep. Flagon. Tooltips are on. Where is it? Tutorials? Whatever. Pearl Pendant, that's over here. I should have done the other stuff first and then went and did that, but I forgot about these. Okay, that's all the treasures in chapter one. That's all the treasures, I got everything. I got the merger request too. Wait, I already did this. Oh, let's go this way. Yeah, because I'm text addicts 145. Appreciate that. What's up, Reapin? It's Sir, yo, Barlington. Timer's still running when you pause? Yeah, I know. Well, this is two playthroughs, so the timer's just real time. Timer isn't built to do more than one playthrough. What's up, Gabri? It's going good. How are you? Okay, I need to get the Castilian. And then now we're done with chapter one. How will the incubation lab work? I've never seen it done without a bioscope. Um, you mean the uh, the regenerator part? You just knife him. If I recall, it's the tech. All of them, bitch. All right. Um. First achievement, one down, 38 to go. Uh, yeah, you could use the sniper to check for the scope. Yeah, 
Yeah, as long as you don't shoot the rifle, then you're fine. Alright. Also, remind me to split. So... Oh! Collectible treasures and concealions? Yep. And merchant requests. Some corn. You gotta play CS sometime? I think I nearly punched my monitor last game. Oh, that's rough. I'm down, dude. When CS2 comes out, I'm gonna be playing it a lot and streaming it and making YouTube stuff, so. Shit, they took my gear. It'll be a good time for it. Alright, chapter two, abandoned factory, sapphire, key, small key and canyon. Actually, I do want to collect herbs so I can sell red green, red green yellows. Also, kitchen knives and stuff are useful. Yeah. I want the sapphire. And the handgun ammo. Yes, I get it. Dude, I wish I could turn tilt tips off. I know you can, but I just couldn't find it. Yeah, thank you, brother. Thanks for the 47 mods with the primer. Thank you, thank you. Small key and canyon, ruby and canyon. Yeah. Yeah, some of the chapter ends. I'll be taking these back. I guess I could pick up way more shit. Like I, I keep forgetting I could actually open the inventory. I just can't use the merchant. I'm so used to my no inventory run. Yeah, chapter two, small key in the canyon. Ruby in the canyon. I love this game. Is there an achievement for no merchant? Yes. Where'd you get that display through? Let's get the key. Need that. And yeah, now we need the ruby. Now I need to go backtrack to the factory to get the mask after. Either merchant request achievement if you don't turn them in. Now you have to turn them in, but what you could do is you could just save before you turn them in. Then turn them all in, get the progress towards the achievement, and then... Reload the save, and on that save, you never use the uh, version. So that's like the really good thing about like deleting your save is that not only can you save scum the achievements, but you can save scum the progress on the achievements. You don't even have to do the whole achievement. You can just turn in like one merchant request and then reload the save. And since the game has like an in game tr challenge tracker, the challenge tracker updates. So like you have 16 merchant requests, but if I just go like, you know, I did the five medallions, right? I can like save and then turn in that request and then reload the save and it'll be like one out of 16. What's this character based off for research purposes? This is my OC. I, I, I made the character design. He's on my emotes and all that stuff. But that door's open, I didn't have to go around trolling. This door's not open. Yeah, I'm like super trolling. All good. All right, so this is the mask. 
sapphire in the case with the crouch down, and the sapphire in the tree, and then... Yeah, okay. Minor trolling. Oh, pest control, you're right. I'm trolling. You are right. I have it in my notes, but I totally missed it. For Jabo. Alright, there we go. I should really put the merchant request at the top of the document instead of after all the treasures. Oh well. Alright. Okay, now sapphire in the case and in the tree and the pearl pendant in the well. There's also a Castilian. There's a sapphire. Sick, you know, show feet. There you go. There's the feet. That one. That one. Ah, <coughs> excuse me. This she ends in here. Okay, and then Ruby in the Mendez drawer, small key in the Mendez house. Cool. Uh, was chapter 14 fixed for the models? It should be, yeah. There's the Ruby. I haven't tested it, but it should be now. Let's uh, Leo Barreto. They do indeed. The scripted heals at any point. Yeah, if you're in red HP at the end of a chapter, when you load into the next chapter, it puts you in like yellow. Yeah, and that's chapter two done. Didn't miss anything. Feels a good man. Wow, your neck is long in that perspective. <laughs> okay, chapter three. Lots of merchant requests. Break two graves, kill three snakes, and sell them. Shoot five medallions. Um, backtrack, small key drawer to the vintage compass. That's in the village coming up here. Velvet blue in the church. And Ruby in the gigante room. Split, thank you. Too easy. What's up, Grim? Hey, dude, dude. So does that uh, model make waifu an e-girl or a VTuber? I actually commissioned this model um, with the VTube support, so I can use like 310A to use it as a VTuber if I wanted to. I've never actually done it, but I just commissioned it with that support because it'd be easier that way anyways. Yeah, there's the vintage compass. So I had the option. Okay, there's a snake here. Velvet blues up here. First aid spray in here. Yeah. 
Now the two graves. I'm not going to be able to get the yellow diamonds. That's not till a later chapter. Church. I made it. So we're looking for... Next one's going to be the ruby in the gigante room, then the hexagon piece in the merchant room. Sub up, Zobek? How you doing? Dude, does anyone know how you do this, like, drop-down knife tech? I have no idea. I've tried, I just can't do it, dude. I can't do it. Yo, Jackson, thanks for the sub, dude. Appreciate that. Enjoy the emotes. Is it better to get the professional run out of the way first, or do you have to unlock that as well? Yeah, you have to unlock pro. So you gotta beat the game once first. So you have to do the assisted playthrough first. Otherwise, yeah, it would be way more consistent to do the pro run first. If you drop down all the way over here, you skip some enemy spawns. Treasure behind the church. I get that later. I have to backtrack for the yellow diamond anyways, so I get that then. Yeah, Ruby in this room. Hexagon piece in the Mercer. Don't need the grenade. I do need this. Oh yeah, the medallions. That's right. This is the first medallion, right? I should probably get it after the Gigante fight, though, to be honest. You're right. That one. And then there are the rest of the medallions. There's one by the boat before uh, Delago, and then the other ones are in the snake room. Okay, hexagon piece. Antique pipe and utter's room. That's coming up here. There's an antique pipe on a thing here. And a small key. And hexagon beast B. So I'm looking for two snakes. Um, there's a lot of shit in this room, actually. Two snakes, some medallions. God damn it. Small key. Two treasures. There's the antique pipe. Plug into this the slow way. I can't remember though, it's been a while since I routed this. I don't think there's anything this way actually. Oops. That's fine. Hey, I got a velvet blue. Yeah, I could kill the log and then come back, but that's kind of slow. I'd rather just do it now. Okay, hexagon piece. And now I just need the small key. The other medallion. Where are the other medallions? There's one for Delago, Snake. I got a parry achievement, nice. And the little shed at the end, there's one too. Oh. Ouch. Yeah, I see it right there. Oh, there was a snake underneath me. Shit, I should have just killed that one. Not bad, right? I 
I heard a snake. Uh, I got my three snakes. How many medallions do I have? I think I'm just missing one, right? I have four, yeah, because the last one's underneath the boat. Cool. Yeah, kind of cool. Switch to 60. There's some requests that I need to talk to the merchant, like selling golden eggs and then green emerald. I think you can't do no merchant and all quests, same thing. Yeah, you can. You just save before you turn in the request and then reload the save after you turn it in. The game tracks the progress, but doesn't it invalidate your no merchant run? actually hit me. Sag. Rip the super quick kill. Sag. Well, I got Harpoon Hurler. It's cool. Too easy. Let's actually make a save. I haven't made one yet. Okay. Uh, chapter 4. First Treasure's Old Way Shrine Cree. Okay, there's a lot of shit. This is like the biggest chapter in the game. What's up, Muba? Howdy. A lot of shit in this chapter. Okay. Um... Way to Key is the first one. I mean, the Golden Egg and the Lunker Bass. Holy shit. Oh my god. What's up, Jose? Jose, how you doing, dude? What's up, man? At the, the piano. This is the first run, yeah. Thank you, Abdul. That's the no damage trophy. You're gonna get it later? Yeah, I'll just get it in the pro run. Actually, that's not in the trophy. That's an achievement. Or uh, that's not a trophy or an achievement. That is a challenge. The logo without taking damage. It's not actually an achievement. I'm like 99 percent sure. I think the minecart one is an achievement, but the uh, the logo one's a challenge. Something here. Uh, they're not for Saku, but this is just a meme run, so it don't matter. All right, uh, head cave two, velvet blue by the other head, splendid bangle, bonus island by the merchant. Okay, head cave two, then Lewis Island, then Red Knight Island. This way first? Oh, dude, I can't read my notes. Head cave two, which one's two? This one, right? Velvet blue by the other head, splendid bangle. Bonus Island by the Merchant. No, I'm going the wrong way. This way. This way first. No, Ben. I'm pretty sure that the logo without missing any harpoons is also not an achievement. There aren't that many achievements in this game. Most of those are challenges. Thanks for the good luck. Killing Verdugo is an achievement for sure. And so is the, doing the lift without it stopping. That's also an achievement, 100%. And uh, the minecart without taking damage is an achievement. What's up, Agent Goose?
I just wanted to jump down. You need to have to end that man's life. There's the velvet blue. Splendid bang on the bonus island. Yeah, okay, that's the bonus island up here. Sub and then planet. Pleasure to have you. Dating Salazar is an achievement? No. I don't believe so. Not boarding up the windows of cabins is an achievement? Definitely not. That's a challenge. Infinite rocket launcher is needed to get all guns, yes. That's one of the harder parts of the run, is getting that in one playthrough. But you have to get every single treasure in the game for an achievement, so that helps. But then there's a lot of first aid spray shenanigans that happens at the end of the game. Yeah. Alexandre and the Bengal. Now we go to Lewis's Island. Did we get the Casilla in the last chapter? There is no Casilla in the last chapter. Okay, I go into the house first. Dating Salazar is an achievement that I have. You talk too much. Oh, really? Okay. Well, I have not routed for that. I guess I could just do it in the assisted run, though. It's not that hard. Okay. Yeah, because I could just make a save before him and then, you know, run up, throw the grenade, then reload the save. Not a big deal. What's up, Isa? This first run on professional? No, your first run can't be on professional because professional's not unlocked yet. It's not assisted. Yeah, the Cassian's here. And there's also a small key here. Yeah, we're doing a run. Skylar. Um, Pearl Bengal. I grabbed that, right? And the ring. Small key for us all through. Alright, next we go to Red Knight Island. Is it doing all challenges and achievement? Nope. It's not. None of the achievements are really that hard. It's just trying to do them quickly that makes them more difficult. Like, getting all of the weapons in the game is difficult. Just because you have to get 2 million to buy the infinite rocket launcher. Damn bro. That model looks straight fire. Do you think all of the weapons it will ever get hair physics? Do you think all of the weapons it will ever get hair physics? I don't know what you mean. Will I get hair physics? Maybe one day? Probably not though. I don't know what you mean by all the weapons though. I'm glad you like the model though. Okay, hexagon PC. 
and Ruby, first head cave. Got him. All right, now we do Bach Island. This is the Velvet Blue and the Egg from the Lunker Bass. Guess it's different on Steam. It's not. I'm like 99.9% .9 certain there is no achievement on any platform for getting all the challenges. Yo, nice over solar, good shit, dude. How you doing? It is, yeah, Lopi. Like, I think every challenge is a challenge itself. It's not an achievement. Yeah, now turn in the heads. Maybe I should just keep both pistols. Honestly. Same mark from the church. And use the red nine for boss fights and use the regular pistol for everything else. Last time I just boxed the red nine, but Can't wait to buy this game on PC and down patch. Well, if you are playing on console and you have a physical copy, you can still down patch. Just want to let, let people know that just in case they don't know. Currently trying to get minimalist, frugalist, silent stranger all in one run. That's what I'm doing right now too. As the Castilian. Grab this. Yeah, then we have the butterfly lamp before Gigante, small key in the church, yellow diamond under that. But we also gotta go get the depraved idol. With the hexagon puzzle. We do the hexagon puzzle right now. Are you allowed to do whatever you want as long as you get all the trophies? Like use accessories, perks, infinite ammo, all that stuff? Yeah, yeah, but you just have to earn it through doing the actual run itself. Like you start with nothing, you know? Wow, you can really solve that puzzle in two, two, two moves, that's funny. Yeah, depraved idol. Thanks, man. I'm glad you like it. Pretty cool, huh? Alright. Um, now, small key in church, butterfly lamp, yellow diamonds. I have, like, no pistol ammo. Yeah, I have to um, go into New Game Plus for, like, a brief moment at the end of the second playthrough. But you just backtrack to the first merchant, then... Do it from there, it's pretty mellow. Thank you, Keanu. God damn, you're a big boy.
It's on Rex. Hey, done. You and Bach ever gonna do a race? It's up to him, man. I'd love to. Bach's a popular guy, though. I don't think he likes doing collabs because then you'd have to collab with everybody. Hello, Gigante AFK. Dang it, I could bind the wrong thing. Let's get to that church. Are you down patch with a physical copy? You have to uninstall the game and then um, go offline and reinstall it via the disc. And then whenever you play it, you have to be offline. As long as you're not connected to the internet, the game won't update. Got here, what happened with dual wielding RE4? I uh, finished two runs. I got a 425 and then a 345. I'm pretty happy with the 345 actually, so I'm just gonna take that and be done with that. 345 is actually like pretty solid. Not the ugly bastard pissed off sandwich. Soko is not. Not using any of those tags, okay? I love Danger HP. Ashley Graham. I'm here to help. It was a pretty clean run, and then right after that, I got a PB in New Game Pro in this game. I got a 213. But dude, that 213 was so bad actually, like... Some shit happened in that 213. In that 213, I fucking... Actually, I should do this in the next chapter. Um... In that 213, I died once on chapter 13 turret skip. Then, on the second attempt, I beat it. I, like, did chapter 13 turret skip. And what made it all the way to, like, the the drop-down skip, where, like, you use the landmine to go through the wall or whatever, died there and hadn't saved yet and had to do all of chapter 13 again. Which is, like, those two things combined is, like, an eight and a half minute time loss or something crazy. And I still got a 213. Like, it would have been, like, a 204 or some shit. No, it shouldn't be Nordix. Is this pro? This is unassisted. The second playthrough will be on pro. Next PB is free? Yeah, yeah. For sure. Okay. Um, let me scroll my notes. Yell Diamond in Ashley's room. Elegant headrest behind the church in the case. I also need to go grab the yellow diamond underneath. I might have to uh, do a save scum at the merchant so that I actually have inventory space. So it kind of reminds me a bit of Yoka from Gurren Lagann. Yeah, I mean, it's like a combo between like Dante and Yoko and Ryuko, basically. As all OCs, she's basically just an amalgamation of a bunch of other characters that other people made. All right, now the section sucks. Nice achievement. Okay. 
Yeah, I'm gonna save scum with this merchant so I can get rid of stuff in my inventory. Split, thank you. Just said your first aid sprays of storage. Yeah. I can do that. Actually, that should be good enough. Just sending those to storage. I shouldn't have to save scum right now. Okay, so what are we doing? We need to go um, to the Mendez house. Grab those treasures and then do Savage Dog. What's up, Russian dude? How am I such a pro at this? Because I don't do anything else. This is my life. Yeah, also, well, yeah, when I come back after getting the Savage Dog, I'll go get the double door with Ashley. Yeah. Um. Up here, there's a Castillan. And a camera. And I need to get the bonus hut and kill the savage mutt, and that's it. What is this place? Amber's back here. Where's the Castillo? There he is. Yeah. Now... Uh, we just need the bonus hut in the village and to kill the dog. Also, I guess if I just get rid of one of my pistols, I'll have way more inventory space. That would also be nice. Yeah, this dog is so tanky, even unassisted, it's wild. Oh, I died. Oh, wait, no, I didn't. I'm, I'm alive. You okay? yeah. Honestly, the villagers would make this part hard. I just fucking shoot Ashley. God damn it, dude. Yeah. I'm fine. Now I'm dead. The fucking villagers would make this part suck. Maybe I should have killed the villagers before I did this section. Well, it's too late now. The boy's dead. Why do you have so much fucking health, dude? You literally pop a blogger, like, okay. Come on. Bruh. This dog has so much fucking health.
I should have killed the villagers first. This is so cringe, man. Thank you, Heaven's Door. Of course it's a fucking plaga, dude. Dog is so goddamn tanky, even on assisted, dude. Let's have to tear the flash. Open it from the other side. Yeah. I'll get bangle. Okay, now antique pipe for cabin. But that's Ruby. No, that's a bonus treasure. A DLC. It's the antique pipe is all that left. This chapter. The bonus treasures are so dumb. You actually can get like 200,000 extra dollars before ca uh, castle. It's so broken. There's there's so many bonus treasures, it's wild. I don't know where Ashley is, but... They can be turned off if you, uh, like, turn them off in the Steam settings. I don't know if you can turn them off on console, though. I think you can. Yo, Yingling, thank you so much, dude. Appreciate that. Love you, too. Yo, Yingling, thank you for the five gifted, dude. Holy shit. Really appreciate that. If you're gifted the sub to uh, Legito Peanut, Pablo Brabins, Psyche, Darkens, and uh, I'm Metal Number. Appreciate that. Is there anything you guys? Oh, hi, Plaka. Hey, Yang. Good. One, two. Oh, 
three. Out of the way. Four. One more. Finally going for the all achievements run? Yeah. I'm finally confident enough in my new game pro abilities to actually be able to S plus consistently. Uh, Castilian in front of the fire after the Cancer Canyon. Okay, no merchant requests. Let's go. Yellow diamond in a case on the left side of Cancer Canyon. Uh, Emerald in a tree after Mendez, elegant headdress before Bella sisters, chalice after Cancer Canyon on the house on the left. So that's a request done in We've got company. Keep moving, but quietly. Okay, uh, yellow diamonds. Right here. Should have just shot him. It's fine. Yeah, well, nice, same off. Did you do? Okay, the chalice here on the left by the Plaga guy. Castilians over here. If I can hit it. Chalice, okay, now all that's left is the elegant headdress. Dress before the Bella sisters and the emerald, the tree. What's up? Sure is quiet. Did Frugalist as well? So yeah, so this first playthrough is Frugalist, Minimalist, um, No Merchants, All Treasures, with the Shooting Gallery. Uh, yeah. We can take this game yet? No, I'm loving it. I was getting pretty burnt out the other day, but I took like the weekend off or whatever and I feel much better about it. Oh yeah, I don't have a flash. I can't flash because minimalist.
Does this crank go faster on assistant? I guess I don't need a flash. Is there, can you reset the team achievements? Uh, yeah, you can. You can use a thing called Steam Achievement Manager. And also, if you delete your, um... If you delete your save data, it resets all your challenges. This is pretty huge. Honestly, I was modding super hard when I was running the game pro, but... It was actually just a skill issue. Like, I just needed to practice more. But once I practiced more, it was like way more fun. This way. You gonna skip Mendez and do it on pro? Fuck no. I'm gonna kill Mendez right now. I can't even skip Mendez because I can't. Well, I, yeah, yeah, I can't. Because I can't use uh, the merchant. Yeah, there's a good achievement for killing Mendez for one, and then for two, it's like I'd have to do it at some point, and I can't even use the merchant. So the beautiful. Rip my knife. Damn, that does like a whole knife worth. His eyes cost one of the treasures too. I think that's true actually. Dude, I... He's actually so much harder on assisted than he's on pro. Fun fact, dude, like... Mendez, way more difficult on assisted than pro. Because he takes approximately 12,000 years to throw his fucking fire sticks at you. You're just sitting there forever, just waiting for him to throw his shit at you, and you just won't do it. Hey wifey, when speedrunning a game for a long time becomes boring, how do you make it fun again? By speedrunning a different game. <laughs> I speedrun like 20 different games. If I get bored of one, I just move on. Actually more than 20, but... I should have doubled back, I would have made it. We just died, dude. Not you, Leon. Talking to Mendez. Speed run something else until you hate it too. Become an infinite hater. Yeah, exactly. Let's move.
dancing days are over. Local game is too hard on easy. And too easy on hard. The line is so based. Bond to catch their attention. All right. Emerald in the tree after Mendez. Uh, Leon, I'm not going to turn into one of them, right? I won't let that happen. I promise. But haven't you ever wanted to get world record in a game? I have world record in many games. There's Bandit. Didn't miss any trophy. Or didn't miss anything. Cool. Uh, chapter 7. Five medallions. They're all in the catapult room. Castilians after the Garador room. There's a bunch of treasures. Yeah, I mean, like, you get a little burnt out if you're grinding for a record or something, but if you're really that bored, then just move on. It's not worth it. What motivates you to speedrun every day? Um, it paying for my bills. And I just find it intrinsically motivating. It's fun. Um, village compass. Elegant bangle by the catapults. I like perfume before Gerardor. Okay. Yeah, I'm super stoked. For GDQ to be sun. There's an achievement for a cannon kill in this chapter. I don't think that's true. That's a challenge. The achievement is called Everkill? Oh, okay. And we'll get up. Well, I was gonna do it anyways. I mean, it's the strat, so. I knew that was gonna fucking happen. There it is, overkill. Wanna oh, see me do it again? Can you, can you do this? <laughs> you can't. Sick. Hello?
That's funny. Alright, so, uh, elegant bangle right here. Yeah, I know. I know, Ashley. I was there. Then the last medallion. Okay, so no more Mercer requests. Um, uh, Ruby before the Gyarador, elegant perfume bottle. And then we need to stealth kill the Gyarador. We can kill the Gyarador with only the knife, right? It's an achievement. Um, I don't think I grabbed the drawer. Ouch. I grabbed the drawer later on the backtrack, I believe. Won't have any small keys right now for the drawer? Yeah, I don't think so. I think I have to get that during the backtrack. Are you okay? Yeah. It's actually like way easier to get your ass beat on an assistant than you would think. I think the strat here is you go and you boost her up and then you fight them. Okay. I owe you one. Yeah, I do do the gear door knife only. I get perfume. We got the elegant bangle. Okay, there's a ruby on the left side here. Discard the knife because I can't repair it. So. Yeah, remember, kill the Gyarador with only the knife. What was that? What's up, you Bubbles? How you doing? Ouch. Oh, it takes like three stabs, I'm pretty sure, right? Out of here, you're doing good. man stays stunned for an eternity. Like it, Lamech?
Dude, can you just die? This is taking forever. Of course. There we go. Four stabs. I mean, it is assisted. Probably not as fast as the good knife. I think it might be three stabs with the good knife, but I used it all already, so. Spindle drawer after the Garador. I don't think I missed any treasures down there, right? Spindle drawer after the Garador. There's a Castilian in here as well. Gold bangle in the chest after Garador. So here's the Spinel. There's the Castilian. Um. Such puzzle, many wow. Big weeds, the Yo, hey, from over six for the 22 months, dude. Appreciate that. Thank you, thank you. So goes feet are a little cold. Just stick them in the ground to warm them up, you know? Bitch. Yeah, gold bangle, golden hourglass. Hang on, this is the same room as before, isn't it? Leon, what are you doing? Don't even think about trying this yourself. He has and then this is golden hourglass, and that's all the treasures for this chapter. Jumping across chandeliers, seriously, who does that? <laughs> Let's go. Hang on. Are you ready to hand over the girl? Not this guy again. Uh, water hall. Ah, the entertainment. Like all the treasures, all the merch requests, and all the. Yeah, I got everything, so. All that's left is just to beat the chapter. I only have one knife though. Oh, just kidding. I have two knives now. I should not be attacking these people. What's up, Zerks? Thanks for the good luck. Leon! No! 
I love archers. For me, the red nine is actually too powerful for this section. I don't want them to vlog on. The only way to get them to not vlog is to just not shoot them. <laughs> they die in like one shot. The archers are the real problem. I can't even use a fucking flash. I really want to kick. Thank you. I really just wanted to kick, so I could do that. We're good. Come on. Okay. You gonna be okay? Yeah, I, I, I got this. I haven't left myself much room when it comes to health. Yeah, true, but it's assisted, so it doesn't really matter. This is only one. This is like one of the only hard rooms in the game. So. So I get past water hall, it's no big deal. Definitely having both pistols is the move though. Those guys are brutal. Hang on, I've got you. a lot easier if I could heal. Okay, get back here. Hurry up. Okay. Okay. Does she get a free full heal every chapter? Do you really? I thought it was just like you heal back to the thing. I'm pretty sure it's just you heal back to like green, not full heal. There we go. You didn't say full, I just read full. I'm trolling. You don't even need to wait for the chapter to end. It's not assisted, so like it just comes back as long as you're not in combat. What's up, Jess? How you doing? All 
Alright, chapter... 8. Scratch symbol right at the start of the tree. Got it. Beetle in the water. Mirror in the red zealot room. Um, we already got Jewel Thief. Top of the first tower of the gigantic castle. Is where the Castilian is. Uh, mirror in the red zealot room. Extravagant cock. The puzzle room. Mirror. Next is the puzzle room. Get out of my way, pillar. Who do you think you are? You think you're the foundation of this room? No shot. Okay, driving a clock. Small key after the puzzle room. Small key uh, after this, then brass pocket, watch small key, drawer room and puzzle. Wait, did we decide that we were gonna backtrack and grab this key now or we did it later, right? I'm pretty sure we did it later. Like you use a small key on the beetle and that's better, right? Pretty sure. Like, do I go backtrack and grab that small key thing right now? I think that's faster to do it this way and grab the beetle and then backtrack the other way. Yeah, it's gotta be. Christ. That's correct. So that's a request done and dusted, eh? Good. Dusted, eh? Yeah, you have to go back with Ashley for the treasure, so you're right there. Already on the backtrack. What's up, Neverwalker one? Is the Mercer still Yoshi? No, the only mod that's on right now is the Circa one. Wait, I can't do this. Right? I thought I gotta do this the normal way. There's treasures down here. I can do that one, just not the nade one. I troll them? There's definitely an item down here, right? Limp. So go limp. Uh, ornate necklace in the optional gigante room. Yeah. Brass pocket watch, small key drawer in the puzzle. Did I miss that? 
Did I miss the brass pocket watch? No, that's the one that we backtracked for. Uh, ornate necklace, yep, got that. Emerald at the top of the first tower. Okay, so I didn't miss anything. From here we backtrack. Did I kill everybody so I can get my fucking health back? Kinda need the fast movement speed here. When did they get so much more health? Shield guy, really? Pretty sure you can get access to that treasure from here. Just go through it backwards. Yeah, this way, right? But like... I think I gotta go up. I want my health back first, though. I shouldn't be in combat right now, I don't think. Whatever. The checkpoint right here anyways. I'll just go to the right. You guys are really to a oh, I remember how I was supposed to do this. I'm actually gonna, just going to do it all over again, I think. Eh, maybe not. The, I know what I was supposed to do now. I was supposed to do that skip and then go grab the stuff on top and then do everything I did. That's what I was supposed to do. I could, I made a save. I could reload it if I want to. But not a bad option, honestly. Because I could just burn this up and then went up here. There's the emerald. I see the casino from here. No, damn. Sorry, must have slipped. Okay, I'm actually gonna do this section again. I know it's like mad slow to do that, but I want the practice. We're probably we're gonna do more than one all achievements run surely, so it's better to practice. This first run is unassisted. She said meeting you once was enough. Like this. This is like actually way faster and way safer. Can I see the casino from here? No. I already checked, but I wanted to double check. If you go to the second tower, you should be able to gain access to the necklace without having to go through the maze backwards. That's the only thing I need to grab from down there, right? So. Yeah, 
guy right here. Okay, but I have to backtrack to this sundial. Wait, shit, I can't. So this one, yeah. Okay, this is actually like a way more optimal route. Excuse me, sir. Like, like this probably saves like two minutes in movement time alone. And it's way easier and way safer. Definitely worth redoing it then. Another one. You guys are really starting to become a <laughs> Sub Delarus. You like it? Okay, uh Orny Necklace, Emerald at the top of the first tower, already got it, so Ruby at the bottom of the pit down here. Ornate beetle in the drawer. I got the Cassian. There's a ruby down here. It's a shame because you could just skip this whole section otherwise. A Jesse from Team Rocket. No. You've never watched Pokemon, I guess. Understandable. Boom. Boom. Oh. Don't crash, please. Thank you. Oh, that's my original character my mascot. So on run one, yeah. I mean, it's only been an hour and a half. Audio, son of a bitch. All right, that's it for chapter eight. Okay. Open for traffic. Now, chapter nine. Five medallions and kill three rats. A lot of fucking treasures, though. And then we do the backtrack here, too. Nice, Taylor Russ. What are you doing? Well, teaching people literacy. Please read the stream title. Can't believe that guy. Too easy. I can't believe that guy. He's in trouble. We can't just leave him. Any estimate for how long the run will take? Probably like seven or so hours. That's my guess. So I need to go this way. That's the Cassian. Elegant chessboard. Alexandra in the main hall. Okay, so there's only one more treasure in the maze. It's the elegant chessboard.
Alright, got the elegant chessboard. Uh, now everything else is in the later sections. Yeah, honestly, I thought this was going to be like way longer, but this is not bad. And this is with like three deaths on the, the dog and like really bad misrouting and a death on chapter eight and a death in water hall. 140 at chapter nine is like not bad, but we're about to do a bunch of backtracking still. Saw you practicing this a while back. Excited to see the whole thing in action. Thanks for streaming. Thanks for watching first osmosis. Appreciate that. Yeah, I was practicing this a little bit, but I wasn't confident in my ability to get S plus on pro. And I didn't want to do like a four and a half hour assisted run and then just gamble that I S plus pro. So I did some pro runs first before I actually do some proper runs of this. Cause like what, you know, that would suck really bad if I did like a four and a half hour assisted run where I get like half the achievements and then all I need to do is get an S plus pro run, but I just can't because I'm bad. Which is very likely if I did this like a week ago. Dude, like Ashley is like committed, dude. She's like screaming her head off like Leon just got his fucking penis chopped off. I respect the commitment. The ballroom must be this way. Alright. Um Alexandra in the main hall. Yellow diamond under the goat head bridge. So I can't do the skip here because I can't use grenades, so... Let's not push the boxes. It's going well, actually. This is fine. Oh, and I crit too? I'm a legend. All over, please. You won't fall over. I'm dead. Dude, I shot him point blank with the red nine in the leg like 10 times. He never stunned or nothing. What the fuck? Assisted my ass. Why don't you assist me with some fucking therapy after this shit's over? Fucking financial aid speed run. If you were a family member you know and love, has done an all achievement speed run, you may qualify for compensation.
Much better. Shoot him in the face, not the legs, I guess. That is my OC. Us. All right. Um, yellow diamond on the goat head bridge. I got the medallion. Get rid of one of these. Craft more handgun ammo. I don't need the heavy nade. I only need one regular nade. Ashley is 100,000% going to get stuck here. You okay? Yeah. Medallion. Okay, uh, uh, remind me to kill the rats. I will forget. Come on, you can't be serious. Okay, dude. Oh, I do need the small key. I missed it. You're right. I got back for it. Dude, I shot that guy like literally 10 times with the red, red 9 and he just gave no fucks. I mean this one. Oh, fuck. Well, that's rough. Well, I can get the small key now. I forgot I didn't kill him, I just exposed the plaga. Actually, this is intentional. I wanted to die there, so I can go get the small key without having to backtrack. It's faster this way. Thank you. I will try not to forget the rats. Wow, they stayed sun for so long I could actually make it to the other one. And they just instantly died. I guess because my DA is so low. That's wild. Actually, ever gonna throw these things or what? No. Whatever, I don't need you anyways. Assisted, by the way. Yeah. Nighty night. Nights. Nighty night. Nights. Yes. 
Get that lever. All right, uh, the rats, three rats. Butterfly ramp, lamp in the merchant room. Oh, I see you took care of the request. Well done. What? I'm trolling. Dying behind the statue. I got the medallion in that room, I'm pretty sure. Now we backtrack. Or no, this is the other backtrack, not this one. I go the other way, back to the maze. Uh, the Prave died all for the Ashley boost. Gold bar backtrack, small key. I only have one small key right now. A little bit confused. No, this is the wrong backtrack, right? I think I'm supposed to do the other backtrack. The Braved Idol backtrack for Ashley boost. Gold bar backtrack. No, this is right. But I am gonna have one less small key than I'm supposed to. Because I need a small key for the gold bar. But I also need a small key for this. I was supposed to unlock this. But I didn't because I'm trolling. What's up, Leon? Yeah. Howdy. I'm fine. Come on. Okay. I get that small key after the mine section. So that's not part of this backtrack. So my notes are wrong. Ashley. That should be fine. So that part's in chapter 12, I guess so. Yeah, yeah, I, I know, I know, like where you do that, but in my notes it says that I backtrack to there now. And then I guess I was that grab the ornate beetle, like, or I just skip the ornate beetle. But I think the ornate beetle is not actually a treasure that you need to grab. The one that you do in the new game pro run. I think that one doesn't even count for the achievement. So you. I think in theory you just skip that one actually. And then you could like do the backtrack more smart. Okay, there's a bunch of Ashley treasures. One more rat. Two more rats. The beetles a treasure? I don't think so. I don't think any of the beetles are treasures. Leon. Looks like we figured it out. Where's the last medallion I'm missing? Is it the knights room one? I got it one and then I died, I think, so. I think I had to get it again.
The one where the troll throws rocks at you. Oh uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure that one's optional. It's not on the achievement. Yeah, I had to re-get it. So I died. Look at you. Look at that. Now I gotta get the keys and the CQBR and all that shit. Let's say I missed a small key pickup somewhere, which I may have. Can't do clock skip? No, because you have to pick up the CQBR. You can skip <gasps> downstairs, but you can't skip uh, the whole thing. You gotta go get the keys because there's a bunch of treasures in the Ashley section. That require the keys. Scare me like that. What is the solution on this? It's like 710 or some shit. 705. Eleven oh four. No, max HP is not an achievement. I need the keys. And then there are three treasures. I get perfume, sapphire, and emerald. Here's the first one. That's the perfume, right? Yeah. One of them's at the very end. And then the other one's downstairs, right? Pretty sure. I don't have to use the elevator, do I? I don't think so. I just go this way. Yeah. Wait, do you have to do three different runs? Difficulty trophies don't stack, by the way. Yes, they do. You just don't know what you're talking about. The achievement literally says, you know, beat the game on standard or a higher or hardcore or higher. And the S plus achievements also stack as long as you beat pro faster than the requirement for standard and hardcore. They definitely stack. Here's the other one. Am I really gonna first try guess all these keys right now? Budget. What's up, Lenny? That's cool, man. Dante's a cool dude. Hope you enjoy the stream. No. 
You know, with how this is going, this run might actually be way shorter than I thought. It might be closer to like six hours or like five and a half. When I actually done well. Totally on Kennedy. What's up, Otanto? That shit is hilarious. I love that video. Yeah, now one last treasure on the way out. That's the VR one, I think. Place head. But that thumbnail's pretty good. Oop, wrong one. I just mashed too hard. I did, yes. Okay. Nothing over there. We're good to go. That's all the Ashley stuff. Got the Castilian, got all the medallions, got the rats. I killed three rats, right? Or did I only get two? I think I only got two. But you can get another rat on this chapter. Okay, heavy knight saves scum kill. That's okay, that's right. I should have kept the heavy grenade. Same as ever. Um fuck. I totally forgot about that. And the flash. Alright, let's do it with the merchant, I guess. Make a save. Yeah, I'll just buy a rocket. These full tips are so ass. <laughs> Bro, I just... Can I get to the stuff that actually fills my inventory? This knight's about to get fucked up. I want to kill that rat, but I can't because <laughs> I don't have any other guns. Should have sold my pistol. Next campion. Hey, dude. You get infinite rockets in New Game Plus, or did they remove that? I mean, yeah, you use the infinite rocket launcher. Gotta get medieval on your asses. Yeah, now I gotta go turn in the merchant request. Um, oh, I should split. So I go turn in the merchant request and then I reload the save. So if anyone is like confused as to what the fuck's going on right now, like are, Streamer, aren't you doing like the minimalist knife only, like no merchant run right now? Like yes I am, but I'm also doing all merchant requests at the same time. And so what I am doing is 
that night takes a long ass time to do with only the pistol and the knife. Um, so it's actually faster to just go to the merchant, make a save, and then like sell everything and buy a rocket launcher and then kill him with the rocket launcher. Well done. You've proven yourself and uh, yeah. And then, you know, that invalidates your no merchant and your minimalist and stuff, but you could just, after you turn it in, load the save. Before you did the merchant. And now your playthrough is still valid for minimalist and no merchant and all that stuff. But the game actually keeps track um, regardless of what playthrough you're on. So like, these are 16 merchant requests. And I just turned in like half of them. So if I check my challenges and I go to feats and I go to the merchant requests, I'm at 12 of 19. Even though on this playthrough, I haven't turned in any of them because I haven't talked to the merchant. So that way I could just go save scum, kill the fucking knights with an RPG instead of like taking it forever with the pistol. And uh, I still get to keep my minimalist playthrough. And that's how you get like every merchant request and a lot of the achievements while still doing the minimalist playthrough. And that lets you bring it down to, to two playthroughs. Okay, uh, what am I looking for on this backtrack here? Uh... Heavy Knights, Save Scum, Turn in the Merchant Request, Reload Chapter Start. CQBR, Golden Lynx, it's up here. Ruby in the Novi's Room, okay. If that's the case, what holds it back from being one playthrough? The fact that you would have to do every single treasure and all the merchant requests on pro without using anything besides the pistol and the knife and you'd also have to do it in under four and a half hours because you have to beat the standard timing for s plus to get the achievement for it even if it's on pro and you have to beat the game once to unlock pro so like doing all of that while also being under four and a half hours is like basically impossible and then on top of that it's literally impossible because when you start the game, you don't have pro unlocked, so you need to beat the game at least once to unlock pro. Can I get rid of the vipers now that I just turned them in? Um, I could. I'm not entirely sure if I sold them or not, though. I think I did, but I'm not 100% sure. So I'm just going to hold them because I got room in my inventory. But yeah, I mean, in theory, like, you know, I could sell the Lunker Bass and the Vipers and then reload the save and then I could get rid of them because I got the achievement or I got the progress towards the achievement. Uh, Ruby and Novi's room and Ornate Beetle. Ornate Beetle. I assume you were talking to the merchant this run for the achievement. Yeah, but like if you listen to what I just said like two seconds ago, you'd understand how I just talked to the merchant. It doesn't avoid the achievement. Oh my god. Okay, you can parry them. I 100% would have just died there.
No, oh, I was so close. Where's the checkpoint at? Do I get a checkpoint anywhere in this fight? Nope. God damn it. Do you crouch? Hey bird. Sapphire and Ice. God, there's so many Novies. Compare the water section ones too. That's pretty sick. I had no idea. Dude, I was so close to the checkpoint too. It was literally right here. Tragic. Fuck. That was almost really good. Hey, old man. Yeah, so a little thick, dude. Stay stunned forever and just let me keep shooting you. I guess I could use the bells too. Stealth kill. But I don't really have much knife left. It's that scary. That room sucks. <laughs> I 
Even with like the setup on assisted, it sucks. Cool, cool, cool. I can't do the full out of bounds here because this this player model is like literally not tall enough. It's pretty funny. But. Talk about sticking the landing. I mean, you just run and you press crouch, and then when the crouch animation is done, you press crouch again, and you can see from watching. What's up, Skitty? God damn. Yeah, if you have some heavy grenades and shit, it's fine. But, like, actually, what, without heavies or anything, like, just pistol only is so bad. Probably be a lot better if I use the bells to, uh, to stealth kill them. That's true, Yang. That is true. RE3R Jill has some insane kick. Had a whole goddamn bakery attached to her hips. That game shows it off too, dude. They're like, here. What's that? Nemesis is chasing you? Better crawl in a vent. Ruby. And the Castilian is right here. And then the yellow diamond after Verdugo. I won't be able to kill Verdugo on this assisted run. Let's just wait it out. I mean, I think, I don't know, like I upgraded red nine, like how many bullets do I need? A lot, right? Nah, I've never played ultra kill. Use the infinite ammo glitch to give the red 9 11 bullets. Five head. Can always save this guy, man. Well, no, it doesn't matter. I'm killing, like, I just have to pass this section. I, mean, I can kill Verdugo in the new game pro run, anyways, so it's like, I don't need the achievement. I just need to beat this section. It's just way faster to kill Verdugo than it is to wait it out, right? But, like, I don't know if I have enough resources to kill him. Cause I have no idea how much health he has and how much damage the but I does. Is this a shorter wait on assisted? I have no idea. Maybe. How many runs total do you need for all achievements? Two. We're still on the first one. Maybe test it after the run's over or something. Like how many bullets would you need with an upgraded red nine to kill Verdugo? I you might be able to do it on assisted if he's frozen. Right. The red nine does decent damage and it's like three times damage when he's frozen, right? So
Did the ammo swap glitch make it so shooting another gun counts as shooting the pistol? You know, I actually don't know. That's a good question. That would actually... You could, like, buy a rocket launcher <laughs> and do the ammo swap glitch. Potentially. Because you're not actually shooting the gun, right? Like, you're... The game thinks you're shooting the pistol. So, I bet you that works. I bet you can do the ammo swap glitch and have it not ruin your your uh, minimalist run. I mean, you'd have to test it, but... That would mean that you could rocket Verdugo. You could kill every boss with a rocket, actually. That's hilarious. Yeah, like you're because, you know, you're shooting the pistol technically, like from the game's perspective, but a rocket comes out. You just have to check it on the minimalist, like. I'll just make a save at the next chapter end on like an increment, and then we'll come back after the run's over and tr test it out. Or I guess I could, we'd have to test it now. I don't know. No, I think we could test it later. Well, I already have the achievement, so <laughs> maybe not. Can't buy the rocket because of the merchant. Oh, that's true. You're right. I didn't think about that. Is that Rekton? Howdy. That's true that you can use a golden chicken egg for the Salazar boss fight. Yeah. Not a minimalist though. Using the egg valid invalidates the run. Yeah, see you wouldn't be able to use this run because you need to buy the rocket for the merchant. That's right. You could do like you grab the CQBR anyways, right? You could like ammo swap the CQBR and the pistol, and then you get like ten free magnum rounds. Or no, you could What happens if you run out of ammo with a gun that has a clip? Can you reload? Like, I mean, that's 10 CQBR shots that you could use on Verdugo. No, it's not infinite. It switches your guns. So like, when you do the trick, like if you switch to this gun, then you'd have 11 shots, right? And once you run out of those 11 shots, the rocket disappears, I think. But if you do it with a second gun, I have no idea what happens. Like if, like, let's say you have the CQBR, because you do have it in this run, right? Like, you could do the swap and then shoot the CQBR, but it's shooting handgun bullets. And so, like, that shouldn't void your minimalist run. Because the game thinks you're holding a handgun when you're shooting it. But I don't know what happens when you run out of bullets. Like, when you go to 11, like, do you reload or does the gun just disappear? Like... Cause I know when you run out of bullets with the rocket, the gun just disappears. Like the rocket just disappears. But with the CQBR, I have no idea. Do not die. I'll quickly test to find out. That'd be some pretty useful info. I'd appreciate it. Oh, we're fine. Well, the rocket's supposed to disappear because it's a one shot. Yeah, exactly. But the CQBR, maybe not, right? Like, it's a silent one. You can see how many times you use something other than the pistol or knife in the challenge menu. Can I go when the challenge is done, though? I think it will go away when the challenge is done. That's the problem. Oh, thank you, Woods. I'm glad you. I'm glad you enjoy.
Why help me though? Why help me though? No need to be Are the wrong going so far? Pretty good. Okay. Uh, 11. Cassian on the thing. Sapphire in the TNT room. Golden Hourglass in the TNT room. Flagon in the minecart stop. Gold bar. And the Nobis. Okay. You gotta rem remind me after the minecart's over to blow up the nests. In the Nobis room. Well, I know that you can like swap any weapon with any weapon. It's just like what happens when you run out of ammo. Can you reload? Also, like it might still void the minimalist achievement. I would imagine it doesn't, but it could. I don't see why it would, but it definitely could. Okay, inventory is getting a little tight here. No merchant, minimalist for your lists. Uh, all treasures. You did the headless grabbers. They're back. They're back. It's just like OG RE4. They exist. Bro, the devs really do care. Feels strong, man. Too easy. The devs do care. The, the attention to detail in this remake is phenomenal. That's fucking hilarious. The headless grabbers are back, dude. I like shouldn't have even died there, but I was just in shock. <laughs> Excuse me. Thank you. That dynamite just fell onto the map. <laughs> Did y'all see that? Okay, I guess I use the red nine for this guy. Yeah. Why do you have to hold the greater right and yellows? I don't have to, but they sell for 10k each. And I need to make up for like 300,000 worth of Pesetas to buy the infinite rocket launcher after combining all the treasures. Oh, I mean, dude, spoil the way. If I'm missing something or there's something coming up, just yell at me. I just don't want to miss anything. I know where the Cassilian is. It's on the, the minecart thing. I have cheat sheets and shit. Like
Well, yeah, but I mean, after the first playthrough, even if you collect all the treasures and sell them optionally, you only end up with like 106 or 1 million 600,000 when you need 2 mil. Yeah, but rolling the charms doesn't even seem worth it. It's like a 30 second time loss every time you roll a charm. And if you don't get literally every charm except for the rocket one is useless. So unless you get the rocket charm, then... I mean, you only spend like two or three minutes buying first aid sprays and putting them in your case. So you'd have to get it within like three or four tries. Otherwise, it's not worth it. So I'm probably not even going to roll charms at all. We're keeping those things cooped up down here too. The underground here is sacred to them. That's where they dug up the bugs. I shoot the hives, yeah. I also got to do no damage. On the car. You're not suggesting we ride this thing. Do you see any other way? Oh, I did it too early. I'm pretty sure like it's like when he jumps down. If I say if I save right there and then load, then like skips the whole thing, the whole animation. I've seen Zarian do it and Damask. Aim assist makes the no damage super easy. No damage is super easy. Doesn't matter. Like just always. <laughs> you basically just AFK in this section and take no damage. Peter dog. How is this a speed run if you're clocking two hours for some of these chapters? You're stupid in like four different ways. Number one, that's not how you read live split. I've been playing for two and a half hours total and I'm on chapter 11. Number two, it's an all achievement speed run, so it's going to be long, requires two whole playthroughs. Number three, even if this was just like a regular new game speed run, like you could just be bad at the game and it's still a speed run. Like, if this was you playing the game and you had like two and a half hours on one split, I, I wouldn't go into your chat and be like, how is this a speedrun? You're, you're bad at this game. Because I'm not an asshole. Okay, I was wrong. You're only dumb in three ways, but that's still a lot of ways to do that. All being dumb thing. What's up, Kazal? What's up, Patty on lunch? Thanks, man. I'm glad you enjoy. Why are you calling me dumb from a question? Because there is such a thing as, like, dumb questions, and that was one of them. I just explained to you how it was dumb. You're so dumb that you didn't even understand the explanation as to why you're dumb. You have become meta-dumb.
impressive. A flag and a Castilian. What's up, dyslexic? Um, where is he? There he is. Yeah, got the Castilian, got the flag, and. Now all that's left is the gold bar right. and the Novi's nest. Let's go. Oh, not this so. How you doing, dude? Cool, we're well, getting reported on for harassment. Well, if you figure out how to, you know, actually fill out the form, I'll be pretty impressed. Considering you can't even figure out how to fill out a sentence. No, the bloom trolled me. Oh well, we'll do have to do it in pro. Run. Wait, I missed the last message. Did he say something about I was cheating because I used glitches or some shit? That would be like the perfect full circle conversation. The red nine bloom is so sick. He said I was cheating. Legend. Now, as bummed, I'm not getting the minecart achievement here. I'll have to. Uh, well, I made a save right before the minecart. So, absolute worst case scenario, I won't. I won't cover that save, and then I can come back here at the end and do it again. I mean, that's a huge time loss if I have to, but I'll try to get it on pro. So we're not only seeing an RE4 speedrun, but we're also seeing how fast someone, a speedrun of how fast someone can put their own foot in their mouth. Yeah, that's pretty good. So you're using a shit mod, so you're probably cheating. True. I am cheating, but it's not because of the mod. You can see where they dug up the bugs. What's Bloom? Bloom is that dog shit mechanic that makes your bulls go in random fucking directions when you shoot them. Destroy the nests. Yeah, thank you. Holy tanky. I don't know if this guy was expecting me to do this all achievement speedrun in like less than two hours, but I'm assuming he just doesn't know how to read, so he got really confused when this wasn't New Game Pro. What was his question? His question was, how is this a speedrun if you're taking two hours to complete one section? Which, as I have established, is wrong in like six different ways. How about you open fire instead of your mouth? Yo, what? 
Ain't no way. Now, one, it's rude, and then also, two, like, it's also just, like, an incorrect question. Because, like, I didn't. It's been two and a half hours to get, like, over halfway through the game. Also, the speedrun is like seven hours long because it does everything. So, like. Uh, the weapon that you can reload to, don't lose the weapon. I tested it with the Broken Butterfly, the starting pistol. And you got the broken butterfly to start with like 10 rounds in the mag. Oh, that's cool. So you can just reload it? Is it continue to use handgun bullets? Shit, where's the other one? I'm missing a nest. It does? Oh, okay. Then you could definitely speed this up a lot by using the CQBR. Fucking Novies, dude. On the top of the other side. I think you should be able to see it from the elevator, right? Baba Booey. What's up? I game one. What the fuck is it? There is no max health achievement. So yes. Oh, there it is. Probably not very assaulted, but that would be really cool for this run just to speed up. As long as, I mean, we still gotta test to see if it doesn't remove minimalist, but I'm pretty sure it doesn't. It'd make Verdugo like five or six minutes faster. It'd be about four minutes faster, I think, for Verdugo. My mind's clearer than it's ever been. Okay, this cutscene is fucking sick. the most cursed bot I've ever seen. You must not see very many bots. It's actually really well made. You won't get away with this Krauser. You won't get away with this Krauser. Too easy. Uh okay, chapter 12, small key before the merchant. Okay, I have to do a backtrack here, right? This is where we do the big backtrack. Smoggy before merchant, golden chicken egg in the throne room, gold bar, left side clock tower, okay. I gotta go do like all the chapter 7 treasures that I missed and go get the gold egg. What's up, Devil Demon? Doing good, how are you? This is faster to get the gold egg first. Right now, this is the other way. It's faster to go the other way first. Um. So. 
So where am I going? To the merchant, right? Then use the gondola to backtrack. You're not really sitting correctly, but all good. Uh, the merchant request is nasty by nature. Next runs Pro S Plus, yeah. Yeah, so I was working on our glutes. I still don't have a small key for this. I fucked something up. Where was I supposed to get the small key? I didn't grab it from the suitcase, now I'm trolling. So actually, I should do this. Like, two hours, Joe? You need to reload the sandwich for throwing the egg at the sours are painting? Yeah. So I have to collect the gold egg because it counts as a treasure for the all treasures achievement. And I have to throw the egg at the Salazar painting because that is a merchant request. Oh, I see you took care of a request. Well done. God, I'm so far away from the small key. It's fine though, I guess. Honestly, it might even be faster to just go to the fucking beginning of the chapter again, but whatever. And then, you know. I make a save before I throw it, reload the save, still have the minimalist run. Bro, you literally just didn't hit me, like straight up. Incorrect. Yeah, time save for next run. More detail, I need to like adjust my notes to be a little bit more detailed. Once I do that, it'll be a lot easier to follow them. But I hadn't actually done a practice run yet, I just did that one routing run, and that's it. But this is like the actual first practice run. No, on PC you have to download the updates. On, St on Steam you literally have to up patch. Or the game will not let you launch it, and then you manually down patch. It's a really shit feature. I don't know why Steam does that. Like, you actually have to up-patch the game and then down-patch. Which is so shitty, too, because for some games, you have to re-download the whole game to down-patch. Like, Doom Eternal, you have to re-download the whole fucking game. So when Doom Eternal updates, it's like, oh, I gotta update. Oh, your files are all invalid. Let me re-download this 80 gigabyte game. So you have to download 80 gigabytes of game just to fucking be able to up-patch. And then once it realizes you're up-patched, now you re-download another 80 gigabytes of game to play it down patch. So you gotta download like 160 gigs just to down patch. It's pretty sick. Yeah, I mean you can make it so on Steam that it doesn't update automatically without your permission, but you can't launch the game until you update, so... Bro, I fucking hate puzzles, actually. This shit is cringe. There we go. Alright. Is that it? On this part of the backtrack?
Wall keeper for a merchant, golden egg in the throne room, gold bar left side, Alexandra in the clock tower stairs, mirror in the left. Yeah, I think that's it. It's just those. And then I go back and grab the golden egg. At this point, I would just hit the seven seas version of the game to keep it unpatched. That's definitely an option. How do you keep track of the achievements? Steam. You can use Steam Achievement Manager to reset your achievements. Not quite the same thing, but from changing from DX11 to DX12 of RE7 requires you to redownload the whole game. That sucks. It's not. I mean, it's a third-party program that, like, removes your data from Steam. But it's very cool and useful. You can also use it to give yourself achievements that you didn't actually earn. Don't tell anyone I told you that, though. What's up, Paradox? Come on, please. I tried. Is there a typewriter in this room? I don't think there is. I think I need to go back and make a save. Yeah, I need to go back and make a save before I do this. I need more detailed notes. If I recall correctly, Stanley Parable had an achievement that is essentially impossible to get just to expose people who cheated to get it. That's pretty funny. I have only used it to give myself achievements that I didn't actually earn in like one scenario. Like when I did the Left 4 Dead 2 all achievements speedrun, like it wasn't done on my account. So what I did is like after the event was over, I just used the Sam to give myself all the achievements. But I'm like, I raised like seven grand for charity and organized like this huge ass event. Like. I basically got the achievements, all right. So I just gave them to myself. <laughs> like, fuck this. Dusted, eh? Good stuff, mate. I'm like, that counts. Whatever. Like, I routed the whole thing and organized the whole thing and told everyone what to do, and it just wasn't done on my account, so. Close enough. I still have the account, though. I feel like. 17 hours playtime on Left 4 Dead 2 with every achievement. And there's a bunch of friends on the account that are all people that like help with the event. You can find it on Steam. It's Left for Charity. It's not a mod, it's a program. It's a Steam Achievement Manager. Didn't want to give your personal account to a bunch of other people? No. Not really. Okay, wait. I have a question though. Like... I'm sure we tested this before, right? But... I need to grab this to count as picking up the treasure, right? So like, yeah, I do 100%. Like, does the treasure being picked up track? Even if I reload the save? Because the save didn't have me picking it up. 
I'm pretty sure I need to pick that up, then go make a save, then come back and do this. I don't even think there's a challenge that tracks all the... Oh, it does. All treasures indicated on the map. Okay, so this should work. I gotta go turn it back in. That void's minimalist, but you get the merchant request and then, yeah. Yeah, yeah it tracks on the challenges, so it's fine. The challenges keep track across across playthroughs, like, I think. Well, what did the, what did it say? Okay, what number did that say? Chat, someone clip it or something. What number did that challenge? 36? Okay, so when I reload the save, I'll check again. If it says 36, then we're fine. I'm pretty sure it will say 36. But I just need to make sure. Yeah, that's the only thing I'm concerned about, is you have to get all treasures in a single playthrough. But I swear when we did this in the practice run, it worked. But I just want to, like, triple check. I have to get all treasures in a single playthrough. Hmm. Challenges, feats, burglar, 35. No, it doesn't count. Oh, that sucks. That's so slow. Okay, so at least we checked. That's good. So, okay, like what is the actual fast way to do this? That's so annoying. What's the actual fast way to do this? I guess... What would you do? You grab the small key, then go do the backtrack for sure. And then... Can I force an autosave? I actually don't know if autosave is tr like through middle lust. So like, let's test. If I open this, get the thing. God, I hate puzzles, dude. I was never good at Rubik's Cubes. Cause I got an auto save when I went through those double doors, right? So, get the golden chicken egg. Also, I've been to 60 like this whole time. I just didn't notice cause I wasn't doing merchants. Did I just get an autosave right there? Because look at the challenges, feats, burglar at 36. I just need to get an autosave. Where'd the plugger go? I don't know if I can force an auto save. You have to to use an egg, right, for this. Yeah. Where is this auto save? Here. This is 
Before I pick up the egg. Yes. Hmm. So like... I guess you could make this way faster by reloading that autosave instead of an actual hard save. So like... Well, I have the Bach Island egg. So I guess, okay, what I would do is I would get that autosave on my way here. I should do this first before the other backtrack because it's on the way. So I come here first. Then I use the Bach Island egg to throw it on that. Then I run back to the merchants. Turn in the request, reload the autosave. And then I come here and get the golden egg. And then I manually run back and do the other backtrack. This is like the better better way to go. He needs any chicken egg, it doesn't matter, dude. I have both eggs. Yeah, but I already have the Bach egg in my inventory, is what I'm saying, so it doesn't matter. You get the autosave when you open those doors all the way there on the first time. Let me write this down on my notes. Okay, so... Small keeper for merchants. Golden egg. Uh, okay. Then... Salazar... Painting. Turn in request, load auto save. Uh, then pick up the golden chicken egg. Then backtrack. Yeah. Why are you not healing? Because it's an achievement. Why do you want to go back to the throne room two times? Because you have to. You can't go to the throne room once. Because you have to throw an egg, and you also have to grab the thing. But you also need to maintain your minimalists, so... Throwing the egg breaks minimalists, and you also have to grab the, the egg from the room, so... Yeah, you're good. Yeah, throwing egg bricks minimalist, so you have to go to the tournament twice. But you can do a little bit of a warp with the autosave, if you do it in that order at least. Yeah, now the Castilian. Gold bar. Clock Tower Stairs Alexandre. I missed that one in my last one. That combo was sick. This is gonna be sick. Already having no health. Way. 
that here somewhere? Well, that's unfortunate. Walk past the purple gem. I was looking up at the ceiling. I couldn't fucking see it. You always use the ball and go back down for it. Yeah, I might have to do that. Why do this? Why do what? Exists? That's a great question. I contemplate that every day. Right there. Okay. Good video game. That's awesome. It might actually be kind of optimal to do it that way, because then the, the boulder like breaks the wall for you. Cool. Jesus. Are there any chapters where the game restores HP? Yes, every chapter. Guaranteed stagger is pretty addicting though. That's fucking sick, dude. I wish that every difficulty was like that. Hopefully those are the last guys and then I can actually regen HP. Or not. I'm not sure if you're purposely doing it in this order. Would it make sense to do the Pro S Plus first and then have a max pistol and infinite upgrades and stuff right now? Uh, yeah, it would. Except for you don't unlock Pro until you beat the game once, so. So you can't. That would definitely make the run a lot easier, but unfortunately it's not possible. Okay, so I want to try to get the don't let anyone on the lift achievement, but I'm pretty sure that's going to be way easier in New Game Pro. No, you're fine, dude. But yeah, no, it's you don't unlock Pro ever at the start of the game. You could, like, you know, maybe, like, ultra hypothetically do every achievement in one run if you had Pro from the start. It would be, like, damn near impossible, but... You know, theoretically, you could. With saves coming, obviously. So sad.
I'm really bad. How are you doing? Well, it probably would have been fucking impossible for me to stop the shield guy, so. It'll be easier on pro. I'll make a backup save just in case. Alright. Um, diamonds. I got the Castilian already. And the Salazar rig. Oops. <laughs> that broke way faster than I thought I was going to. Shana made this girl from? She's my OC. What's up, Regenerator S? This is fine. Thank you, funny hero. There's burglar. You took care of a request. Well done. Yeah, I need to throw a grenade in Salazar's mouth. Then revert. I split crash. Of fucking course it did, dude. This program is dog shit. No, it didn't. I pressed M at some point. I don't know when, but I did. Couldn't have been that long ago, though. Oh, I missed. That's fun. Stop when you fall on the bridge. First thing. Okay, got the achievement. Oh, you couldn't use grenades. You can't. You're right. I reload the auto save. I don't know if that works to remove minimalist or whatever, or to like not remove minimalist. I haven't tested it. I'm gonna let myself heal. In my practice run, this was actually like a really hard part of the run. Because he just takes fucking 12,000 years to kill. Fall over. Thank you. Why can't I? That's so fucking lame. But you robbed me of my QT, you bitch. It's not the attack I thought it was.
The projection from Salazar is insane. This fight's actually like mad hard. Like this. If you know, oh no, well you can't set up the fire thing. I was gonna say like you could do the dupe glitch or whatever and then use CQBR, but no, because there's no fire in this room. Well it just sucks like it's really hard to dodge when you run out of HP. So if you hit once, then you're just bound. Also, if you don't get the knife QTEs, it takes like infinitely longer because you do like no damage. Like, why? The QT prop's still there, dude. Just fucking do the QT. I'm dead. Is that a mod? No, this is the regular game, obviously. Obviously. I have not modified the game in any way. Knifing him while he's down with stabs and just stabbing as he gets up will knock him down again. Really? Even with an unupgraded knife, like just a boot knife? I just don't miss the QTEs, then it'll be fine. But. The game is now fucking me by giving me terrible drops. There we go, fucking finally. I don't know about that one, Chief. Seems like fake news. Good damage, though. Maybe it's because I'm using a boot knife, and that's why it doesn't... Get him up all the way down again, instantly.
I can't. There we go. No thanks, bro. Just don't do the QTE? Oh, okay, interesting. I'll have to test that out about then. Ashley. No time to lose. I definitely gotta do more than one of these runs. Because there's like 30 minutes plus to save on this run easily. But it's actually still going way faster than I thought it would, even with like the run is going worse execution wise than I thought it was going to, but it's also like faster than I thought, you know? Like I thought with no mistakes, I I would be at like four hours right now, but I've made a fuck ton of mistakes and it's only at like three. Krauser. What's up, Hunk? Do you think you're How you doing? What's up, Nekome? Okay, chapter 13. Chapter 13. The Castilian is on the forklift. There's a lot of treasures. Pearl Bangle will find the first turrets. Gold links after turret skip. Split. Too easy. Oh yeah, that is still yes. I'll have to practice it a little bit, but that's really useful. Have a good night, Crunchy. Thanks for hanging, dude. Okay, I can't do turret skip. Sag. I guess maybe you still could. I think you could do the udders one where he kicks you. I don't think you actually have to move the first turret to get the treasure. Okay, but he's like all the way the fuck over there, so. But you don't. Okay, Pearl Bangle. Is he up there? Or did he jump down? He jumped down. Okay. I think that I would have to not. I'd have to watch the whole cutscene. Right. I think I would have to watch the whole cutscene. And maybe he'll stand up top. Your English is pretty solid to me, Marcel. Later, Leon. Have a good night. Thanks for watching. Appreciate you. Couldn't do it if you guys didn't watch. I like that. But if I watch the whole cutscene, will he just stand up there? Or will he move? I feel like he'll move. Okay, Golden Links. Crowned by Forklift. This is where I'm gonna get a little bit lost, I think. Golden links, crown, velvet blue in the briefcase. This is it the golden links, right? Yep. Yeah. Crown. Oh, the forklift and the velvet blue. The briefcase. Okay, I know where those are, I think. Acubierto! This isn't good. Oh 
Okay. I heckin love archers, dude. Bat chest. Can you do chapter 15 turret skip without body armor? I don't think so. Well, actually, yeah, you can, I think. But it's not even that much faster, so... Probably not worth. So stair skating is not faster on danger HP. Feels bad. Ground. See him. My headphones are dying. Perfect time for an ab check. Day two gang. Boom, dear. The speed running these fucking abdominals too. Jesus. All right. The cross guy just saved there. Okay. All right. Let's see here. Velvet blue here. Then the next one's after oven man. Heal me, please. I know there's enemies nearby, but don't tell me you already stopped healing. We're not in combat yet. There we go. That ass. Vanius patiently watching, waiting for chapter 14 to end. Will the textures break? Boss champ. Bruh. Bruh. Soko, please. There we go. Chair incidents. Yeah, that can happen if you like hold forward too far out of the thing, I think. I don't need another green. What did I just do? We call that cheating. Um, next one is after oven, okay. I got stuck. Always before oven, man, but... Yeah. Oh shit, immersion requests. Uh... Wait, no, that's the next chapter. Yeah. I'm reading too far ahead. There's no merchant request on this one. I already got the Castilian. Streamer, help me. Mendez is after me. He is injecting the LOL. Pelp. 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 <laughs> Pelp. 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 Nice work, Don. Sounds like I was too late. They got to him. Okay. Red barrel. What's the assisted puzzle? I know it's 322 on pro. But What's it on assistant? I don't even know. Casal, assisted Andy, help.
Three, two. Thank you. I hate these two. I gotta grab the LE5 and the Bioscope. They count as treasures. There's also the big ass... Oh, I thought I would outrun that. I thought wrong. What? Gold ingot. Okay. Nice. I was mashing the parry button, but I was... This is not Tyler Perry's house, but it is the house of pain. Because it's like, Jesus. I got smacked. Regenerators, I swear to God, are legit harder on assisted. Because their attacks come out so fucking slow. That you're like behind them by the time they connect. You can't even parry. Oh. Yeah, it was Alan. Well, thanks for giving us up. It's all. Shit, that. Too much wiggle, dude. Too thick. Like, look at that. I'm literally behind you. I can't even parry that because I'm facing the wrong way. Like, what do I do? Do I just stand in front of them and let them attack so I can parry? Okay. The generator is legit more difficult on assisted than they are on pro. I didn't know there was a minute, but that sounds cool. Just do that, I guess. Just wait. Heck, wait. Stand in front of him, just wait. Alright, does anyone know the LE5 puzzle? On assisted? Two, two, three, three. Base. Oh, I shot the wrong one. Hang on. Shit, again? Thank you. I'm just gonna hide in here. It'll be okay. Also, it's way easier to parry them if you just look at the fucking parry indicator instead of actually trying to read the attack. The attack comes out so fucking slow. No parry on that attack, I guess? I don't even know where I am. What have I done so far? That attack is unparryable, I guess. That is a parry indicator, it's by your health bar. Oh my god. Damn, she's thick. God, you fucking crouch walk so slow in danger.
Oh, you knew it, Leon. Yeah, did you? Dude, why are there like more yellow herbs in this game than there are red herbs? I shouldn't have boxed the LE5. Because I could have used it to see which regenerator has the wrench. I'm doing all sorts of trolling. Dude, late game is something I need to practice. There's typewriter super far away, dude, of course. Surprised you don't save scum the fish and vipers from our space. I could. But I didn't think it would be an issue. Also, it's kind of slow to do that. Because then you have to see the merchant requests fulfilled twice, and that's like kind of slow. I guess this is like the best option right now is to save scum this. See, like that shit takes forever. Uh, the fish and the vipers. I think I've already done this, but I just want to like make sure. Also, like, I want to have the fish because it sells for a lot of money at the end of the game, ideally. You know? I guess I could use the CQ bar too, but I guess it's a little bit bigger, so I don't want to. Yeah, I guess there's got to be like a certain point in the run where I just need to save scum those things so that I can have more inventory space. You. Both the loggers are at the top. That literally didn't hit me, but okay. Ma'am. Ma'am? Why are you cheating? I literally know where the plug is. I know I don't. I'm aiming the wrong spot. It's on the back. Bro, how the fu- Oh, that's not good. Like, this is like really bad RNG. The plug is on the back. I need you to be on the ground. Ooh. Model, thank you. I have the tech, don't worry. 
called running away. I was like, where did the regenerator go? This is fun. Yeah, I need to practice island. There's like... A bunch of stuff that I could do to optimize this a lot. If I just, you know, had done it before. I only did it like once and it was like only in theory. I didn't actually have to do it correctly. I got every treasure though. And then can steal it again. Okay, chapter 14 now. All right. Uh I need to go into the Wrecking Ball section and grab a bunch of treasures. Crystal ore. Yeah, I'll get it back later. You got it. Uh, okay, crystal ore, alexandrites, gold bangle in the dumpster, velvet blue in the Ashley help room. So it's also four rats I need to kill and five medallions in the super generator. Maybe I should keep the LE5 just to skip that, honestly. It's pretty slow. I didn't realize how slow that was. Regenerator doesn't spawn until after you get the merchant request, so I have to do it last. Alexandrites. You. Oh, yes, star. Gold bangle. I don't exactly remember where these are. There it is. I've only collected them once. Holy shit, Bloom is such a good mechanic. Hold this down. Come on. Velvet Blue. You're like not even picked up yet by the time I got here. I missed a blue medallion. Yeah, well, I got to backtrack here, so it's not a big deal, but I don't know which one I missed. I'll just get it on the backtrack. Well, that was dumb. Emerald here. Yeah. This 
Ornate necklace in the regenerator room. We go at the same time, yeah. Got it. Plus the gold bangle, I think. Oh yeah, also rats. Ouch. Ashley, are you all right? Yeah, thanks. Get this for me. Leave it to me. I'm actually pretty good at this stuff. I'm actually pretty good at this stuff. I'm really good at cranking levers. Be impressed with me, Leon. Oh, he saw me and he knew, dude. He said, fuck this, I'm out of here. Ornate necklace. Okay, that's all the treasures until the campsite. Uh, missing one medallion and two rats. They're both at the end here, I think. Where's the other rat? There he is. Yeah, then I don't actually have to finish this section. Let me go back. Oh my fucking... Did he was waiting in the corner? You got the rest of the medals. Last ones before you jump down in the desert fight. It's on the far right. God damn. God damn. I got that one. I got that one. Of course. I got this one. Where the hell is the other one? The one above the merchant door? Oh, you're right. Thank you. Alright, so we got the rats, we got the merchant request, we got all the treasures, now we just gotta backtrack and do the Saves come for the regenerator. Are you okay? Yeah. Can I wait till I heal first? Right. I'm gonna need the LE5. Oh, okay. I'll do that afterwards because I'm gonna have to redo it anyways. I got something new for you. Your valuables won't do you much good in the grave. Perfect. You're a real professional. Where you gonna put this? Your, your pockets. Don't get yourself killed now. Oh wait, shit, no. Some new goods that 
Hold on. I did this in the wrong order. I have to do, uh, I have to go do the glitch, get the thing, and then come back. So I do need to... Can you do all the shooting range chapters or challenges during this chapter? Maybe? I'm just doing them in 15 though. Let's find another way. Is this count as talking to the merchant? Yep. Thus invalidating the no merchant run. But fortunately that doesn't fucking matter because we just saved scum anyways. So. Now the regenerator spawns. The storage. Now. Now we save. Welcome. A job well done. I gotta watch all these fucking... This is why you wanna not use the merchant that many times, because you gotta watch all these every time. Got some rare things on sale, stranger. I'll buy it. Oh, thank you. Not my place. Don't get yourself killed now. <laughs> Alright. Now, let's go kill that regenerator, huh? Oh, this is chapter 14. I should have split like an hour ago. Where is the regenerator? Back here, right? Spiky bitch. Now turn in the merchant request and reload the save. So that's a requ <laughs> well yeah. Now this save has the LE5 put away. And the skip already done. Now all I have left is the gold bar and the crystal ore in the amber room. You know, I... And the Castilian we were... in the campsite. I guess so. Right? Maybe someday I'll become an agent like you. What do you think? We could protect the US from any and all threats. Is that right? Well, either way, first we have to make it out of here. No fun. What's that model? My OC. Uh, where is the amber? It's a private mod. See, it's a, yeah, Vanius, if you're here, we're about to find out if it's fixed. I think it would, but we'll see. Yeah, it did. Let's go. Oh, yeah, Vanius. You bastard. Sadler. You bastard. Now, I can't redistribute the 3D model. This is part of the commission agreement. It would be a good Patreon reward, though.
two hot two headshots done unassisted question mark. I mean not that the artists would ever know they like disappeared off the face of the fucking planet after I commissioned them literally like their Twitter account got deleted and their commission page is gone now too I can't find anyone with the same username this is, this is disappeared but yeah I'll still respect it though All right, um, that's it. Now we just fight browser. This is gonna fucking suck. Better run, rookie. Not like I have a choice. Holy bloom, dude. What's wrong? Show no mercy. The beetle doesn't count. It's not a treasure. You better hustle. Who knows what I'd like to pick it up just for the money though. I don't remember where it is. Right behind you, you drop down? Okay. Over here. I never actually got this one before. Please heal me, game. Just one more tick of healing. Please. No? Okay. I'll go fuck myself, I guess. With your gut, don't think. That was the first thing you taught me. Use a med spray. Ricky, I'm just gonna have to ask you to please stop talking. That's not personal. I just really dislike when you talk in my chat. Ready to die, rookie. Can I heal game? Surely I'm not in combat right now, right? Right? I kind of need to not be in combat. This is gonna fucking suck otherwise. I guess this is gonna suck. Yeah, I can reload an auto save, maybe. You need to pick up the pace. Think about the girl. Hello? Shoot your bow, dude. Which are you? I don't know. Guess I'll ask me to see. Well, you've really gone all out for me. You shouldn't have. Anything yeah, I've been hit behind him too. You passed with flying colors. Solidly constructed game. Okay. Now I'm not in combat, smiley face. Oh. This is it, soldier. Oh my god, I missed. <laughs> Dude, I missed the fucking laser. God damn it. I overrolled it. This is it, soldier. You're really doing this? 
Not too late. You and me are two sides of the same coin. I guess that means you're dead. Never see eye Thank you. Eye. Uh, surely I'm not in combat if I don't move right here, right? You've lost it completely, Krauser. Right. No. Sick. So that's your true power? Oh, I'd ask for a refund. That smart mob of yours. That's your secret waifu. You're always in combat. Life is combat. Is the soldier evil? Uh, dude, I'm gonna ban you. Please go back to like Blood Penguin or something, some age appropriate website. I do not want to be held responsible. It's like it's in slow motion. It basically is. Attack I can't do anything about, bro. So sad. I only get one shot off and then ferry. Like okay, kick, I mean. Dude, just die. You figure what difficulty this is? Thank you. Some of these boss fights are actually like pretty hard on this difficulty, like the way this is rolling. I keep the heavy grenade, I didn't mean to, just... 
Just picked it up. Okay, this is actually like about exactly as long as I thought it was gonna be. But it could be like way faster if I didn't make those big routing mistakes in like mid game. Also, if we can figure out that CQBR strat, it could save a lot of time in Virgo, like a lot of time. Took care of her a quest, did ya? <laughs> I can tell by the look. Tell by the look on your face. Did you our strat? Yeah, so like, we theory crafted a strat this run that would let you kill Verdugo instead of having to wait it out. What was that? So the strat would be like, instead of doing the rocket glitch, you do, you do the rocket glitch, but instead you do it with the CQBR. And the thought process is the game thinks you're shooting a pistol, right? So like, you could just shoot the CQBR and not void your minimal mist run with the setup. Sorry. Can I use this turret? I can, right? I think we tested this. So then you could use the CQBR shooting pistol bullets to kill Verdugo instead of having to wait it out. Which, like, would in theory save like four minutes, right? I doesn't think it's a pistol, because the game's UI is showing you a pistol when it's shooting pistol bullets. That was when you need to reload. Um, well, we didn't know. We had someone test it. Salted tested it earlier. It said that you just reload, and the game still thinks you're using the pistol. So I think you could just like just keep shooting the CPR. I don't know if it voids the achievement or not, though. It might, even if the game thinks it's a pistol. So we gotta test that. Cause like while the game shows the UI as being a pistol, maybe it still tracks it as an actual Yeah, it might detect what bullet you're using, and if it does that then it won't work. But that would be really cool, it would save a lot of time. There's a bunch of reasons why it could or couldn't work. Well, I mean, the actual like projectile that happens in game is not a handgun bullet. Treasure before the bridge. Oh shit, you're right. I'm just kind of AFKing. Oh, I actually, fuck, I need to do the whole chapter again. There's like, I missed two treasures. Unless I can backtrack, I think I can backtrack. I'm just trolling. Thank you for the reminder. Mike's room has a treasure. Please. Thanks for the heads up. Whoa, you are too kind. Yo, D, thanks for giving the sub to Aduac. Saving the run pays off. Let's go. There's the red barrel. Okay, uh, join the emotes. Okay. Okay, those are the only two treasures in this section. I really better do this first try because I'm not going to get another checkpoint, and I'll have to recollect those every fucking time if I die, so. Rip that crit I got on this fucking turret guy though. That was kind of sick. Did 
This is gonna be fun. Fucking the helmet. Helmet Harry. Bro, what? Why do you not stun on one headshots? This is gonna fucking suck, dude. I'm gonna have to run all the way back every time. Oof. Not even unassisted, dude. I wonder if there's even like a strat for this room. So I can make it good, I don't know. It's kind of hard to come up with strats when all you can use is a pistol. This is pretty limiting. <laughs> You're just like, oh, well, you know, maybe I can use some flashes here. Like, no. No, maybe you can't. Yeah, you can maybe do the ammo glitch, but... Be a fucking pain in the cock to set up. I think we need a red 9 here. Red 9 one shot heads out? Son? Yeah. Maybe it's DA because I died. Either way. Fuck, <laughs> oh, this is such a nightmare. How'd you guys live that? You're crazy. I just don't even care about it killing you. I just want the iframes. Yo, jumping off that gives you a roll. Might be worth doing it in pro too. Oh. Oh my god. This is so fucked. My boobies! Not the boobies! Uh, 
Um, yeah, this section sucks. Okay, fun. I love that Mike doesn't help with this section in the remake. Maybe she used the turret to kill more people, but I feel like they're just gonna keep respawning, so it's like, why bother? On the plus side, checkpoints. True that. Like, there's no one. Map is empty right now. But, like, that's gonna change really fast. Otter just killed everybody for me. That's pretty cool of him. I am not going to be able to get past him. Also, I just kill him. Yeah, this run could like easily be like a low 340 or something, I think. Just this first run. And then obviously like second run. Like two and a half hours probably. Yeah, I can make ammo. Look at all these regular yellows I have. Holy shit. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. That's over a hundred and ten thousand. I'll make sure you're the next. And I have a bunch of first aid sprays too. Oh shit, that's right. I can't just run. I gotta kill these guys. There's treasures and shit here. I don't remember the medallions. This is gonna suck. I remember these ones being really hard to find. Hello? Oh, there, this way. Behind the ladder before you jump. Dude, I swear to God, I look. I look for that one because everyone yells at me about it and I never see it. Dude, okay, can we all just like realize where that bullet went? Look at where the crosshair is. And look at where the bullet's hitting, dude. God, this game is so good. I like, this is definitely how the shooting mechanic should have been from the, from the start of the fucking franchise. Every single game ever should have the same shooting mechanics. So good. I didn't even know this ladder existed. I still don't see this medallion. Yeah, I know this ladder, but I'm that doesn't exist. See, it doesn't exist. Fake ladder. Fake medallion. What the? 
I don't even gotta do that. I just fucking hate rats. Where's he at? Boom, 15 out of 16. Alright, time for the best part of the run, chat. <gasps> Are you ready? Are you ready? I don't think you're ready. <laughs> oh god, no. Not like this. Oh no, oh no, 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 no. Yeah, I don't need to do anything special, just the S ranks. I shouldn't have done bonus time. It's actually just a time loss, I'm pretty sure. Holy shit, dude. The gun mechanics in this game are dog shit. Actually so bad. Tell me I still have strength. Yeah, okay, we're good. What? Bloom is such a good mechanic. I think I can still get S-Rank. Cause I got bonus time. Yeah, it's just a last rank. Yeah. This is pretty good so far. I only failed once.
there an achievement for getting all targets except for sailors? No. The challenge. Ah. Uh, I shouldn't have got bonus time. Bonus time is legit just a time loss in this run, like most of the time. Because you don't need the bonus time to S rank unless you like hit some fucking dude. Honestly, you could really probably route it pretty fast and to the point where you like don't get bonus time and you just you shoot everything, like including the sailors. Like you shoot sailors on purpose to avoid getting bonus time but still get S rank. You probably actually could do that, but like, who the fuck wants to route that? Not me. Like on this one, it was it would probably would have been faster to like just fucking. Quote unquote, accidentally shoot a sailor. See, like, I shot a sailor there, but I still got bonus time. So, like, there's no way I don't get the S rank, right? Wonder if that would create a toxic situation where in order to get enough points, you have to be perfect some of the course? Probably. Tells you the requirement for the S. Yeah, but like, who wants to actually route this shit? Not me. Hey! What? I didn't even shoot anybody. You have to get bonus time on this one to S. Yeah, I mean, for this course specifically is what I meant when I asked that. What's up, Marcelo? Three, two, so I also need the achievement to get Five kills with one bullet. Eight K for this one. I'm trolling. That's okay. You can't even get it on this one. I don't think. That's the A rank. Oh. You need bonus time for this one. 
First Punisher one, you need a bonus time. And this one's based on shots. You have to bonus time on this one, otherwise you literally can't ask for You need AK, that is. Okay. Second Punisher one, this is where we get the five kills at once achievement. Thank you. Oh. Uh, you have to bonus time this one too. I think all of the Punisher ones you have to bonus time. Full uh. thrower, okay. This is gonna suck. I think that I need to attach the mine for the first one, for the first three, or I won't get enough points. That were fun. Better side that one. Let me get that. That should that's right for sure, right? Opium powered. One left. This one's easy. He says as he hits four sailors. This one's easy. Suspector. Yeah, you definitely don't need the bonus for this one. This one's actually like really free.
to hit bonus time in this one, you have to hit every single target. And that's work. Yep. Cool. All right, we'll try one time. We want the rocket launcher charm. Nope. This shit takes too long. There's no way I'm rolling for more than one charm. I could have tried all golds, yeah. I can tell by the look on your face. Almost there. You're not supposed to reliably hit any kind of anything when using any gun in this game, Punchy, because they don't care about the game being skill based. That's the real solution to your question. You think it's bad with the shotgun? Try doing it with the fucking TMP without the stock. Or any of the pistols. The TMP is fucking phenomenal in the original. It's like the best gun in the game. <laughs> Don't do it, Rocket Man. Don't do it. Hit the Novi. Oh my god, he rocketed the Novi! XD. Thought it took too many bullets to kill. Well, an OGRE4, like, why would you kill anything with bullets when you could just, like, kick and suplex everything to death? What difficulty is this? Right now we're on assisted, but we're about to beat the game, and then once we beat the game, we're gonna go to pro. I didn't forget any treasures, did I? No. Uh, all that's left are two treasures. Velvet Blue and Lewis's Lab Bridge and Los Illuminati Pendant on the altar. And then there's a Castilian right at the end. Um, and then we do the S plus pro run. Well, then we gotta do a fucking a ton of menuing and make a backup save and shit. This is the first time I'm doing all achievements run. Cloth. For this game at least. Bro, it's gonna be scary because it has to be an S plus run, but I'm gonna do speedrun strats, so. <laughs> I don't know where I'm gonna save. I think my first save will probably be like before Gigante or something. Or maybe before Del probably before Delago. I didn't get the beat the log without missing a harpoon, right? Achievement. I don't think I got that one, so. I'll probably do at least one more run. Will there be an Ada DLC? Well, I don't work for Capcom, so I'm the wrong person to ask.
Cheers. This time, it has to be different. <laughs> what is the reason for down patching? What was fixed? Everything was fixed. Door clips, duffel bag, infinite rocket. No, not announced. One more, one more, one more, dude. Just one more, one more. Just one more, one more. Look at this place. One more treasure. Oh, I'm sure she's fine. Yeah, I already saved some of the vipers and uh, the bass. It's definitely worth it, especially if you're gonna keep both guns. I think you'll probably do it like at the beginning of the run though. It's what time? Oh yeah. But I didn't get the achievement. Oh wait, no, there's one more. The gold bar. I got worried there for a second. Yeah, that Castilian at the end. The timer section. God damn! Oh, dude, I can't think about it. I can't remember anything when I should fucking crouch with this mod on. That's the last one. That should give me the achievement. Yep. Nice. All right, cool. So now we want to make a save that we definitely won't overwrite. So we'll save it twice just to be safe. Um, and then we beat the game and then we come back to that save. Can the gun actually shoot what I'm aiming at? I'm out of ammo.
Yes, his dumbass really does get stun locked on assisted by doing this. I think I'm gonna like, like that's actually so strong, even on pro. Is anyone gonna drop? Okay, they're gonna have a. Only I could get some fucking ammo. Bro, I literally sh okay. That's pretty sick. It's a pretty cool fight, casually. It would definitely be worth doing the CQBR do push here too. Oh great, I downed him. Too bad he's all the way the fuck over there. Dude, okay, I broke three out of four of your eyes. Can you just fucking die? Hello? Bullets! Hello? You exist?
I should not even shoot him here, I don't think. Because if I break one more eye, he's gonna get down. So I guess I just go grab resources and reload. I need him to like jump back to me. Well, that time I literally had to break all fucking four. That does damage? That's so cringe. And the dummy are dropping shit right now. Feed me, move your leg, please. Thank you. Finally. Yeah, that fight needs labbing. Finally, a look that suits you, Sadler. Honestly, all the boss fights need labbing. They're like, you would think they'd be really easy because, like, oh, you're on assisted bull, but, like, actually pretty difficult knife and pistol only. I think, like, CQBR dupe. If it works the way I think it does, it would be like infinitely useful there. It would make the fight like really fast. Be a good time to test to see if it was a challenge. Well, yeah, I guess I don't. I don't know, I don't really want to test it right now because I want this to run to actually finish. I guess I can make a save at the typewriter here and then go back and then do the glitch and see if it if it works. Okay, let's get out of here. Yeah. Well now, see so the problem is if I finish the run then I'm going to complete that challenge so the challenge won't be there so we can't tell if it works or not. So like I can't beat the run right now. So like I have to, so okay, well we may as well test it. So I'm gonna save, load this save. I've never actually done it on this barrel though. It's kind of hard. So like, Welcome. Well, look at you, mate. I got Jack of all trades. So like the idea is You have like a bunch of pistol ammo, right? But like you have to grab the QQBR in the run anyway, so you'd have it. And then like... When you do... Same tech you do with the rocket launcher, but with the CQBR instead. Leon, look. Is that... But I'm shit at doing it on this boss, so. So ideally, like, what we're hoping for here 
Without the way this will overlap. The game will think I'm still using a pistol if I'm using the CQBR. And so to use pistol ammo instead of CQBR ammo, but I'll be shooting the CQBR and I won't void my minimalist run. But this is like a really hard one to do. I have not practiced this at all. I could maybe try a different barrel, but this is the optimal one. So I may as well practice it on this because... Oh, dude, I'm like... I hate the movement in this game. Like, why is Leon have to do this huge fucking lunge out of the fire just walk out, dude? I'm surprised that one didn't work. Also, the barrel file goes away really fast and you get stunned by him jumping down, so... It'd be really fast to set this up. Okay, so... Where is it? In story? Minimalist. No, okay, it doesn't... It doesn't work. Unfortunate. This is five. Right, it has to be zero. I figured that it might work because like, you know, if you look at the bottom right, it says that you're using a pistol. So my thought process is like maybe... Maybe it wouldn't count against Minimalist and you could just do that, but no, unfortunately not. I mean, that makes it way easier to route, but... That does kind of suck. It would have been really cool, because that, that way you'd be able to kill Verdugo. And you'd be able to kill Sadler, like really fast. Yeah, the Castilian. It's uh, like on the other side of this jump. The forklift on the right here. Forklift certified. Cool. And I need to no damage the jet ski. Have we confirmed is like um, not missing a single harpoon on Delago? That's an achievement, right? Not a challenge. All right. not bad That's a challenge. Oh, okay, cool. And no, we didn't miss that one. I did miss the wrecking ball one. No, not the wrecking ball. The uh, Minecart no damage though on this run, so I need to. I have a save for it in case I don't get it on pro, and I need the jet ski, or not the jet ski, the um. What's it called? The fucking lift one, but that one will be easier on pro. Too much for Delago just killing him, yeah. I definitely got that one.
Okay, so we need two million fifty thousand, right? What is the achievement? So how much money do we need? We need two million fifty thousand. Because we gotta redo the fucking section and kill Sadler again. Excellent job. I A ranked? I guess that's normal, right? I don't need to S rank that. Sure. Yeah, I got Silent Stranger, she got Frugalist and all those as well. Two minutes off the S rank. Ooh, that's okay. Um, okay. Now we need 2,050,000. Welcome. Well, look at you. This is where things are getting a little bit crazy. The rest should just be all booze for sure. <laughs> Good instinct, stranger. <laughs> a wise choice. I know. I say that a lot, but I mean it. <laughs> I wish I could buy in bulk. Stranger. Punisher? Oh yeah, I need the Punisher too. Where you gonna put this? Your pocket? A wise choice. And Matilda. Don't want us all the first aids. Not until we're on pro. It's all rubbish. It makes no difference. The price, well, that's our choice to make. This is what I'm talking about. <laughs> Fine work. An interesting choice. Okay. Oh, I mean it in a good way, of course. <laughs> Good instinct, stranger. <laughs> you can't go We're at like a million now. We're halfway there. Choice. Oh, I mean it in a good way, of course. <laughs> Thank you. A job well done deserves payment in <laughs> A wise choice. I know. I say that a lot. That oh, I knew you'd choose that one. <laughs> you buy the exclusive ticket and sell for 80. I don't know if that's worth it. 2,500 times 30? That's definitely going to be more, right? Okay, and then I need... What am I doing here? Now I do a bunch of crafting. Rounds first. Then the cats are the second most expensive one. And then these. Then the masks, I think. Uh. There's two cats.
Welcome. Got some rare things on sale, stranger. One million six hundred and seventy-seven thousand. Okay, so that's about what I was expecting, which means we need 175 first aid sprays. Stocking up while you can. Wise choice. I don't always have this in stock, stranger. Stocking up while you can. Wise choice. Better to be over prepared. Am I right? Stocking up while So if you don't know what's going on, basically you buy a first aid sprays for 3k on assisted and then you go new game plus into pro mode and sell them for 5k what's the nice Why is the menu so unresponsive? Dude, what? It was not as bad. Maybe I'm just trying to menu too fast. Oh, the typewriter is faster? Maybe that's what it was. Maybe I was using the typewriter. Yeah, that's what it was. I was like, this is not, this was not this ass before. Forty-four. One hundred and thirty more to go. Stocking up while you can. Wise choice. You got a storage? Do you think you could send all? I don't think so. But can you? Can you send all? Stocking up while you can. Wise choice. Better to be over prepared. I don't think so. Version has an infamous supply on assisted, yeah. Better to be over prepared. Am I right? Stocking up while you can. Wise choice. Better to be over. Five bigger case? It's not worth it. It's only like four case refills. So you get 175. Cases are expensive. And you don't really get that much more space. Each case upgrade only gives you like one dimension. Left or right. Is this not worth it? No, I did the math. No, I need 175 to make up for the money and be able to buy a rocket launcher for Sadler here. 114. It really doesn't take that long, actually. What are you? Yeah, if you buy a bigger case, then you have to buy even more first aid sprays, and that means you have to do this even more time. It's slower. Yeah, 175, including those 10. Double 10. Whatever, the 10 are the ones that I had from just like playing the game. Forty-nine, fifty, sixty, twenty-two, fifty-three, four, 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 four
So a couple extra just to be safe. But I sell for 5k on pro. Not 10k. Okay. But the return isn't that huge, it's only 2k. But it is free money. And this is like way faster than playing New Game Plus until you have enough money. I don't get up. Okay. Wait out the second phase. Fuck it. Okay, well, charms are a fucking beam. So, 5k. If I wanted to try to get the rhinoceros charm to make it faster, I mean, like, I wouldn't have to do this at all if I got the, uh, the rocket launcher discount charm. I'd have to do it, like, for, like, 20 first aids. That's it. But the thing is, rolling for a charm takes like 30 seconds per charm. And it's completely RNG. So. If you don't get it within the, like the first like five charms, it's not worth it. And there's, I mean, you're looking for the rocket charm. It's like pretty common, but there's still like 60 charms. So the odds that you actually get the rocket charm in the time where it would actually save time is like a low. And I'd rather not gamble RNG like midway through a seven hour run. Like if you really wanted to swing it, you could maybe do like, you could do all the uh, shooting gallery stuff like as early as you possibly could. And then you're doing the RNG gambling like three and a half hours in instead of four and a half. But, but I mean, it's still really far into a run that's like seven hours long. I think you can reasonably be done with like all of the new game plus setup and the assisted run. Um, in like four hours, actually. If you had like a good, a good first half of the run. There's like still a lot of boss fights that need to be routed and whatnot. I need a better Salazar strat that needs to be practiced, and then Sadler as well. Krauser probably as well. Double Garador room could use a strat. Two. Okay, then. This run that I just did, it gets every achievement except for like a couple. And then we do a new game pro S plus run and that gets all the rest of them. Except for the all weapons achievement, which I have to wait till I beat new game pro S plus. And then I continue the new game plus file that I'm setting up right now and then buy everything at the merchant and that'll give me every gun. But the only achievements I'm missing right now are like beat standard hardcore and pro, get an S plus on standard and hardcore, um, buy all the guns in the game, Too easy. and some that I missed in the all achievements run, like the first run that I was supposed to get.
Okay, yeah. now we go for the new game Pro S Plus run, but I really have to go to the bathroom, so <laughs> we're gonna take a quick break before I do that. BRB. Is this longer than the Dead Space All Achievements run? I don't know. I don't remember how long that was. I think that was like six and a half hours. I think um, we'll see. I mean, that run I just did, it could have been a lot faster. I think I could easily save an hour on that last run if I don't do any testing and I just know what I'm doing and I have strats for everything. So that would mean I'm finishing at four hours roughly and starting new game pro and then if i have a good new game pro run it'll be like a 205 or some shit um in game time so that would be like a 220 real time so that's like six and a half hours anyone home or yo got my lap. this was hard as difficulty was instant death yeah but it's easy like, it's pretty hard to die. <laughs> that run is actually really similar to this run. It's like one run on the easiest difficulty where you do like all the achievement hunting, and then the second run is like basically just a new game pro speed run. What was that? No fucking way. They're like basically the same run, essentially, but different games, obviously. No. Bird. Because the hand cannon is doo doo ass. And getting all the S ranks and mercs takes like 20 minutes. In order for it to be worth it, having the hand cannon would have to speed up New Game Pro by more than 20 minutes, which. It just doesn't, so. Also, remind me to split at the end of each chapter. I'll definitely forget. Oreo, please. Yeah. Hopefully village goes well. Where should I make my first save? Dynamite village maybe? Like right before red mist? Probably the best spot. And then the second save... Probably uh... Poor Gigante.
And I won't save for a while, probably, till like. Here we go. Got all. There's so many run killers in the early game. And the grenade killed seven. That's really good. No, push the boxes. Challenges are challenges, and the achievements are achievements. Some of them overlap, some of them don't. There's a lot more challenges than there are achievements. There's only 39 achievements, but there are like 101 challenges. Hell yeah, good bingo. Huh? You can sell some of the bonus weapons for extra money. I guess I could. I would rather just do a regular new game pro run though. So it could be like its own PB. I mean, the only bonus weapon I'll have is the primal knife, that's it. Oh, you shoot the window, so you don't have to shoot it later. It also draws aggro. What do you mean? There is no achievement for all challenges. There's not. There is not an achievement for doing all the challenges. Nice shotgun shots. Yeah, it's a challenge to do all challenges, funny enough. I could maybe do an all challenges run, but that had to be like a huge sub goal or some shit, because I'm pretty sure you have to do all of the difficulties individually on all challenges. Like, they don't stack, so... That would mean you'd have to do at least four runs. Which would make the run way fucking longer because all of those are at least two hours real time. Also, yeah, you'd have to do like all skulls in the fucking shooting range. Just complete aids. They do stack? Oh, okay. The challenges do? I know the achievements do, but... Okay, cool. Thank god. Okay, so well then, maybe all, ch all challenges wouldn't be that bad. Yeah, there's a challenge for getting all skulls. Yeah, like 100% the whole shooting gallery. It's hyper aids. Like, there's no way. Like, I would suck so much cock. Oh really? You don't need all skulls hitting every object without missing a shot. I thought you needed to do like the bonus time on the final one, which requires all the skulls and not missing any shots or whatever. Here's hoping they, they patch the bloom. They won't. Shit, they took my gear. I split. Thank you for the reminder though. Yeah. I mean Delago without missing the harpoons is easy. I would just get that anyways in a normal speed run. There'd be a lot of challenges that like I would just happen to get, you know. But there's a couple weird ones like oh, actually in the new game pro run, you kill Verdugo without using the ice, so you get that challenge too.
Challenges don't stack. See, I'm getting conflicting results here. Some people are telling me challenges do stack. Some people are telling me challenges don't. I'm pretty sure the reason why there's conflicting information is because it's just like the achievement, which is they only stack as long as you're filling the requirements of both. So like, you can S plus New Game Pro and still not unlock the standard S plus because you have to S plus New Game Pro by the same requirements as standard, right? Like, if you don't... Okay, like, it, let's say you get the S plus Pro, but you do it like at exactly five and a half hours, then that's not under the requirement for standard, which is four and a half hours. So you don't get the standard one. So they stack, but only if you meet the requirements for bull. Like, if you beat Pro in less than four and a half hours with S plus, then you also get the standard one. But you have to beat the standard requirements during your pro run. The hell am I? From my understanding, that's how it works. I could be wrong though. I haven't actually tested it. But we'll find out after this run. Because we're gonna ask plus pro here and Well no. How are you not dead? This bitch is invincible. Now I feel like I shouldn't have wasted my save here because it's going so well. I know I just jinxed it, but... Holy fuck. I definitely jinxed it. I should have waited like a brief moment before jumping. I would have stunned them. Don't fall off! Oh my god. Okay, I definitely jinxed it. It's fine. Pro tip, if you're trying to go for S plus and you die, go to the main menu. And then load your save. That way, you don't lose any time between your last save and your death. That makes S plus free. The hell am I? Pro strat. Definitely glad I saved before Red Mist Village now. Sometimes she ducks and you don't even have to shoot there, it's pretty cool. I wish she did it every time. Don't fall off the building. Thank you.
Okay. Not the biggest time loss death, it's all good. Not expecting a, per a perfect pro run here, I just don't want it to go catastrophically wrong all the time. I am loving how well this model's looking, dude. Like, it actually, like, works really well. Even during, like, some of the crazier animations, it looks good still. I gotta get this ported over to RE3 Remake and DMC5. I already have it in DMC4, but I need to get it ported to Special Edition. Yeah, the armpit look a little, little sussy sometimes, but that's about it. Yeah, best crouch animation. Really well made. Nodders, nodders, nodders. Bro, she was just made thick, alright? Not too shabby. That animation just accentuates the thickness. I've had this model for a long time though, almost a year. I'm glad I finally have a use for it. That cutscene makes the neck look so long, but I swear to you, it's not that long. What's up, Louise? It's because the skeleton is different. She's shorter than Leon. So when the cutscenes happen, it like transitions to the Leon's skeleton. So it makes her neck really long. <laughs> Yeah, I wish I could do it for more games, Rekthon. It's fun. Something something, a land before time. It was definitely a land before time looking ass Soko right there. I have some new goods that might. Here, does it get in the way of anything? Not really. It's been pretty fine. There is one downside. Um, that's that her, since her skeleton's a little bit shorter than Leon, I actually can't do the out of bounds where you grab the ladder from underneath. I have to go back in bounds to kick the wall. So I lose like 15 seconds or something for that. But Vania said he was gonna like maybe look into getting that fixed. So that it doesn't happen. Yeah, I mean, Leon is pretty short. Dude's like 5'4", but Soko's even shorter, unfortunately. Man that moves. No, it's just because this, this is a unique skeleton. The skeleton's a little bit shorter. 
The skeleton for this model is actually based on DMC5 or DMC4 Dante's model. But with like slightly different proportions, obviously. Well, I can't submit it as well because of the mod. Please don't make fun of short people. Bro, I was five foot flat in high school, freshman year. I can make fun of short people all I want. I am short people. I'm six foot now, but I got bullied my whole life for being short. Now it's my turn, bitch. Come here, step stool. To be fair, I cheated though. I took growth hormone. I actually had a growth hormone deficiency, so I took growth hormone for like four years. Now I got a huge cock. Six foot. I know. It is cheating. But to be fair, I was at a natural disadvantage. My body was just not producing that shit, so. The Utters is on a mission, dude. He's chasing me with a vengeance. Excuse me, sir. Thank you. You didn't stop growing until you're 21, you're 62 now? Yeah, I mean, I haven't been measuring myself, but I'm pretty sure I kept growing until like around that time as well. I'm 24 now and I'm six foot. So. But I was taking the growth hormone until. I was like 18. What's up, bogey? All right, Del Taco. It's time for you to go to Diarrhea Town. Oh yeah, I mean, guys don't stop drawing until they're like 24, 25 usually. They hit puberty later and also like grow for longer. Male physical, fe physical peak is not until like 30 or so. Like, I know guys in their like mid to late fifties that are like still skate and they're really fucking active and shit and run the marathons and stuff. Oh, I hit it. I'm a legend. You could swallow my hole, huh? Wait, what? Huh? Huh? Bullshit. Most of men stop growing at like 16. There is no hope for me. You're dooming, brother. You're dooming. It's all good. Oh 
It's all good, brother. Bro, at 16, I was like 5'2". There are definitely some dudes out there though that like by 16 they're like locked in. They're like already like 6'2 and have shaved like for three years. And... But that's kind of rare. He also had to take a time and only got to five foot six. Imagine if he didn't take it though. That shit sucked though, man. Like, you gotta give yourself a shot in the leg every day. Every single day, you give yourself a shot. Shit sucked. You gotta carry the shots around with you all the time. Kid in my seventh grade class had a full on mustache. Yeah, that happens. Everyone's different. You were six foot by 14 and never, and stopped growing. I had a friend in high school who was five six and became taller than me at 18. Yeah. People's bodies are weird. At least all my height went to my dick. Based. Base department. I found him. He's here. like hardcore stab yourself but if you're giving yourself an epi no i did it all slow like a little bitch because i was afraid of needles it'd be like it is like an epi though you just don't have to go deep it's it's like you put it in your muscles this is a hormone you know it doesn't have to be like intravenous or anything The doctors are always fucking wrong. Doctors would be lying to people all the time, Troy Blue. Doctors would be like, yeah, you're never walking again. And then like every single person that's ever been told that it can walk. I swear. Doctors got no faith. I guess that's maybe just because like no one ever tells stories about how the doctor said they wouldn't be able to walk and then they were right. Because it's kind of sad. But like... You know, I heard lots of stories of people saying doctor said I'll never be able to skate again or walk again or blah 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 and here they are walking doing flips and shit if you're young and like you actually do PT and you don't drink alcohol a bunch then you can recover from like almost any injury it's kind of wild if you're like you know, below 45 and you have like a somewhat decent diet and you exercise regularly and you don't like drink all the time then you can basically bounce back from like anything maybe they say it to motivate you maybe there's like just to spite you you're never gonna walk again bitch and then like slap the bill on the table like twenty thousand dollar bill and then just walk out of the room So you gave yourself around 1,461 shots and you're still afraid of needles and it hurt every time. Same mark from the church. I mean, I'm not like afraid of them. I like shit hurts, man. You know, you get your blood drawn. Just fucking shit's gnarly. You just can feel it getting sucked out of your body, and you're like, ah! You know? And it hurts. I'm certified to take people's blood now. Stay the fuck away from me, Temp Dragon. It's my blood.
bitch. Welcome. I got something new for you. Ruby's all rubbish. It makes no difference. The price. Well, this is what I'm talking about. <laughs> Where are you gonna put this? Wish your enemies sweet dreams from I forgot I had the dragon lore. With the bullets straight through their heads. <laughs> Try that on for sight. Welcome. Got some rare things off. Oh, don't get yourself killed. Oh. <laughs> I'm not certified, but I can still do it. Sus. Sussy. You'll never get hold of my balls. They belong on my scroll to them. I'll never get hold of them. And the uh, wise words of Eminem. How I feel about my blood. You got worms too? Present for you. I was half expecting the charge, so I was just kind of waiting for it. Oh fuck, not good. What? Bro, I'm so fucking bad at this game. Give me a real op, dude. Put me in the Counter-Strike server. I hit these. Oh, we're good. I hit these if it's a real server, dude. Okay. Let's get to that church. I got shot in the leg two years ago. Doesn't hurt as much as a needle. Well, when you get shot, you're in shock, so you don't feel any pain. Right? Like. Also, who are you? 50 cent? The fuck? I love needles put being put into me, but I also hate people, so that's why I don't donate blood. God damn, that's kind of based. You know, weirdly enough though, like, there's a weird horseshoe thing going on with, like, injuries. Because most of your nervous system, like, your, your actual nerves that have pain receptors are on the outside of your skin. So, like... The worse you get hurt, the less it hurts almost. You know, like, obviously... You know, getting hurt badly does hurt. But I mean, like, in the moment, like, as it happens... I'm here to help. Like, a lot of times you have, like, intestinal bleeding or some shit, and you, like, literally don't even feel it. You know, but... You get a paper cut, holy fuck. Dude, that paper cut is probably the worst thing that's ever happened to you in your entire life. <laughs> yeah, real blood. <laughs> it's okay though. Let them let them do their thing. Let them cook. Let them cook. <laughs> Ashley, you in there? But yeah, I mean, you get hit like with a crazy injury that like you, know, you break your femur or like some crazy shit like that. In the moment, it doesn't hurt that much. Like I've broken a couple bones. I broke my front two teeth, literally didn't hurt at all. I was just in pure shock, no pain. I mean, it hurts to recover, but like, as it happens, dude, like, bro, you get a fucking paper cut, that is actually the most painful thing ever. Or you stub your toe. Legit, I have like fallen like 10 feet out of the air onto concrete on my side, like on my hip or on my fucking shoulder and just been like, oh man, I didn't really, I didn't really feel that, like whatever. 
But dude, I have stubbed my toe sometimes and I will be stuck there on the ground crying for like 10 minutes. How did that not work? Templeton, I need you to never talk in my chat again. Thank you. Just, just stop. Yeah, like tooth pain is like some of the worst pain ever. I had a, um, I had an abscess in my gums, dude. Literally the worst pain I've ever had in my life. I was like begging people to kill me. Like just end it, dude, I don't care. The dentist doesn't even open until fucking Monday and it's Saturday. Just. Fucking take me out back and shoot me, please, God. So what does all achievements entail? Well, funny you ask. It entails getting all of the achievements. Through two playthroughs. The first one unassisted, and then the second one New Game Pro. Assisted one is like assisted, no merchant, minimalist, frugalist, all the merchant requests, um, shooting gallery, and a bunch of money farming. And, and then the second run is just a new game pro run where you get S plus. Bro, I'm glad the human body can't grow teeth back more than once. Could you imagine you had to do that shit like a couple times? You like bro. Growing teeth sucks, man. That shit hurt. No, I know. I was being a smart ass because I'm an asshole. Yeah, it's two playthroughs. I was just cooking you because I'm an asshole. It's all good though. I wasn't actually offended or nothing. I just thought it was funny. What the fuck is going on? What the fuck? The barrel did not kill anybody, I think. That's uh, what we like to call not good. Everyone's gonna fucking pop a plaga, of course. I'm fucking doomed. Bro, pay attention. I didn't even board all the fucking windows. Let's go Come on. And I'm dead. Okay, that's fine. Bro, that was literally the worst dog shit I've ever seen in my life. Like, what even happened, man? Actually, hold on. I need to go back to the main menu real fast. Like, what was that? I fucking shot the barrel and no one died. Like, what the fuck? 
They just weren't there at the window. Like what? I did everything right. No one died. I don't get it. So I can buy the infinite rocket launcher after I unlock it. Like, was I too fast or what? Now there they are. They just weren't there, dude. They just didn't exist. The fuck? There's not an achievement for doing cabin without boring the windows. Challenges are different from achievements. Challenges and achievement are different things. Fuck you, Grandma. Stay outside. For a trophy, then. No, trophies and achievements are the same thing. Challenges are different things from achievements. It's really not that complicated. Why you move at the last second, sir? Oh my god, my aim is so good, dude. There's no end to them, he says, as it ends. No, push the boxes. I sell the first aid sprays so that I have enough money to be able to buy the infinite rocket launcher, but I don't unlock it until I beat Premium Pro. Maybe this wasn't worth doing, this speed run, just because of the stupid questions, honestly. Four saves. Should make a command for an FAQ? Yeah, you think people read? Bro, I literally get people coming into my stream and ask me what game I'm playing. the bell by the way true yeah did the remake come out that's a classic is this the remake
Should be super good on money, so I'm gonna skip this chalice. I'm not making the safety save here anyways, because I need to not save too much. We're already on four saves, so... Ideally, I think I don't save until, like, right before the water hall skip. Sure is quiet. What achievement am I getting right now? I'm getting beat the game on standard, hardcore, and pro, and S plus standard and hardcore. I'm also unlocking the infinite rocket launcher and the Chicago typewriter and the hand cannon so I can buy those on the new game plus playthrough for the all weapon achievement. Stay here. What? Okay. I am flattered. Long neck Soko. Oh, the one shot stun, cringe. Uh oh, this is fine. That was risky. She actually doesn't give a fuck about shotgun shells, so I should not have shot her. Got any tips for Resident Evil 6? Yeah, don't play it. Bad game. Works every time. I do remember when Jay's enemies were blown away by shotguns. This is good times. Shit's scary now, dude. My favorite line that Mendes could say there is he could just say, come. It's a banger. Do my job. Hey wait. hey, wait! No, I don't think I will. Glad this didn't get patched, but it did. Rip. I did get patch. I'm just playing down patch. Because the speedrunner has always been down patch. Too easy. Okay, I think that it's not worth saving until the water hall room. Because the catapults, if I play it safe, shouldn't really be scary. It'd be fine. Right, Ashley. Luis just said. I got it. Guess we better get yeah it should be fine i usually just kill everybody and everything so should be totally fine i would think opium oh uh, thanks not pen shoot that That barrel has one gunpowder in it. The fixed drop. This is their idea of a warm welcome. 
I just think the icon doesn't show up, but I'm pretty sure you still get the gunpowder. How did that miss, dude? I'm gonna die. It's open. I mean, you might not actually get the the gunpowder in there, but it is on the ground. And like you do pick it up, so the icon doesn't appear. But I would imagine that it does actually pick it up, and it doesn't just do nothing. Hello. Welcome. Got some rare things on. Thank you. A deal well struck. <laughs> I see you have an eye for things. Guns not just about shooting, it's, it's about, about reload. Come back any five saves. We're already one third of the way through our saves, but pretty far into the game at least. I'm not going to save after I do the skip. I'm just going to do water hall in one go, I think. And then if I beat that, I'll probably not save until maybe the after the maze even. It seems unlikely that I would die in chapter 8, but... Still two saves spare. Why? Well, uh, assuming I use the saves where? Damn, Rip Yang. This game is hard. It's the hardest one in the game for sure. Well, I actually thought I went through that time. Dude, what the fuck? What? There we go, Jesus fuck. So because it has too big, she can't squeeze through the door. No, there shouldn't be any differences. I did my PB actually in Game Pro it uses this model. I got a first try there. Nice shot. I think I'm just being a bot at the moment. Leon, they're here. Ah, the entertainment. Yeah, two extra teams to play with, but like. Saying that implies that there's like, you know, 10 or so saves that I need to do, but I'm not sure where any of the saves should be. Like I'm, you're probably right, but. I have no idea where I'm gonna make my saves at all, really. Let's go. This trick work on PS5? It did, not anymore though. On every chapter, I guess. Yeah, that's what I figured out what they meant. Watch out! 
I was thinking the next save would be like at the start of the maze. Out of heals. Why are you not flashed? Still, why are you still not flash? Why are you not flashed? I don't understand. Hello, flash rings. Did that poor Japanese developer who fucking spent like 136 hours straight underneath his fucking desk eating nothing but ramen noodles for like a month and uh, lost his fucking what or his marriage because of this goddamn game, dude, like all for nothing just for the game to not even function like the one thing he's programming this goddamn flash grenade literally just doesn't work jesus christ man for what dude for what why I must be like doing something wrong. I don't know what though. I love. Okay. This game. God, she's so fucking far away. Teleport. But now I already used my heal, so I'm fucked. I only had one. Ah, the entertainment. Watch out! Give me space. The game, give me some heals, please. Honestly, I'm convinced that... Okay. Grabbing the golden aid actually makes the game harder, because the game's like, you have a fucking heal, forehead. Okay. Just use the golden egg, streamer. I have the GNH settings, I think so. I did redo my binds at GNH. We're good. Bro, why the fuck? Did anyone waste their time programming flashes in this game? Who the fuck? Like, who cares, dude? Why bother? They literally don't even work. They literally don't even work. Like, actually, who? like, why, dude? Someone wasted their actual existence as a human being programming these flash grenades. Like, holy fuck. Why bother, dude? You literally could have been fucking underwater basket weaving and done a better... Better fucking benefit to society because the flash rings are just empty code they do nothing at all literally a non-functional mechanic like literally like literally actually does nothing like if the source code of this game ever gets leaked and you look at the flash grenades it just says flash and you open up the fucking notepad file and there's just nothing in there this doesn't even exist We've all collectively, schizophrenically, like, imagined flash grenades. The collective unconscious is just like, it's just like the fire grenades, dude. Look away. 
They removed fire grenades, they also removed flash grenades. We just all just couldn't even think about it. That's a reality so untrue that like we just collective unconscious made flat. Why is Ashley all the way over there? Like, holy shit, this game is fucking awful. Like, my god. Because the flash literally only works for her? That's what I'm saying, dude. I don't get it. It's fucking dog shit video game, dude. You flashed? How? You literally late flashed. You dumb bitch, you, you're so stupid, you don't even react to the flash grenade. You react to them reacting to the flash grenade. She's just fucking emotional mirroring, dude. Got the fucking cognitive development of a two-year-old. She sees someone else get shocked and she's like, oh, sho I need to be shocked right now. Let me be shocked. Holy fuck, dude. This, she's a fucking empath, dude. She sees the enemies get flashed and she's like, oh my gosh. Me too. Then you know, just fucking late flash. Jesus. I fucking hate this skip. Oh, there you go, you fucking idiot. Dude, what in the f- You're in the way. Yeah, you are in the way. There we go. I just need to yeet harder, I guess. It was just a phase. She's like, I actually, I'm not an empath. Sorry. Are you okay? Yeah. They haven't patched that door door glitch. Nope. Go try it yourself. You'll see. They didn't patch it. Yeah, why are you lying to him? No, obviously they didn't patch it. I just did it. Okay. Bro, what the fuck? Am I trying to flash on the floor instead of the air? Well, I'm trying to flash the archers too. Because the archers are the ones that are the real assholes. Oh my god, can you find, dude, to find some fucking three pieces of wool, three pieces of wood, a nether portal, and a crafting table, dude. Like, just please, stop, stop, leave me alone, stop, game, game, game! Shield! Faithful the remake, by the way! I fucking roundhouse kicked the shit out of that shield guy and the shield did nothing. The shield's like, ah, oh, fuck you, whatever. I don't care. I don't know if you can tell, but I'm a little upset. This is why... Did you matter how much worse this would be if I didn't practice the shit out of New Game Pro before I did this run? Holy okay. shit. Yeah, Thanks, team, man. Hello? Bullets? Careful. 
Get fucked, dude. Walking to my card montage. Oh, I missed one. Hang on. I've got you. What? God, dude. I just like don't understand why they even program flash grenades. Like, what a waste of human life. Ashley, are you all right? Definitely throwing the flash on the ground from now on. Seemed to help. Good shout, Jexter. Oh, so much fun. Most fun I've had in years. Too easy. How's the run going? Pretty awful. Pretty terrible, but that's why we do more than one. That's why we don't just do one speed run. Looks like I know what we're doing tomorrow. Where are the fucking enemies? I mean, I'm not complaining, I'm just confused. Aim. You fucking die, you ugly fuck! Jesus. The tanky motherfucker, ain't he? I want the barrel. Nope! Psych! I can button mash. Haha. Uh -huh. Fuck you. Joke's on you. I don't care about the quality of my keyboard or how long it lasts or how long my hands don't have arthritis. I would rather just not get hit there. Another S plus? No, the fucking the whole shebang. Did the whole all achievements run again? I mean, we need to practice first. We'd have to do. Uh, a little bit of practice on the other section of the game. Please, I'm pressing side. Probably shouldn't have crafted that because I'm like really long gunpowder now. 
Hopefully I got enough heavy grenades. Any plans for the weekend? Yeah, an all achievements run. And video editing. Work, 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 work. That's all I do is work. That's okay though, because I love my job. And I am making bank, dude. I'm stacking. I really want to be able to buy a house at the end of this year or at the end of next year. And this is my best opportunity to do so. So I'm just like working 7,000 hours a day. Thank you. you know, I want to buy a house, have some kids, grow a family, you know, shit like that, but I, I need to have money to do those things. Present for you. Bro, this game is dog shit. Bro, dude, I haven't saved. Way lower. Jesus. Like, fucking why does this game even exist? Like, who wanted this shit, dude? OG is even better. Let's just go play that instead, dude. This game's awful. About to get blasted right here and die. Yes. Hope it works. <sighs> I don't know. I want something with land. Oh, what my fucking god, dude. Nether bed instantly, please. For both of us, me and you. I want something with a little bit of land because I want to build like a little skate park from the backyard. And so obviously you can have an HOA. But something nice. Three or four bedrooms at least, obviously. I am gonna be so low on resources. I need like such good RNG. Sorry. I've had my Philly I need like three heavy grenade drops. I have like zero gunpowder. I literally have zero gunpowder. Where are you? Alright, we'll save here. Too easy. Save number six. Well, I have more ammo than I did on some runs at this point. It's crazy as that sounds. Fucking sick drops, brother. Not really. This. Run is fucking awful. I died like three times in water hall. The assisted run was pretty awful too, but it's okay. I mean, fucking first run. It's gonna be like that. But the run is so long, it's like, how many of these am I gonna do? You know, like three maybe, so.
Fucking boot knife, thank god, run the save, dude. Heavy grenade. Handgun ammo, okay. Interesting. The transmit is his all achievement run. He's doing it segmented, right? So I doubt he's done with it right now. But. Hey, look! The flag's been lowered. Wow, Ashley. That's a astute observation. Hyper intelligent being. Bro, what are these drops? I play games that I don't stream? Nah. And kind of a CS, but I just stream CS now too. What's the time? Oh, thank god I waited around for that 5 handgun ammo. Run is saved. Yeah, I definitely can't afford to flash these guys. I need this flash for... The goat head room, because I don't have any grenades. I don't have, a, I don't have small grenades, I don't have heavy grenades, I don't have any gunpowder. This is sick. This is going really well. And I didn't kill either of those guys. Oh, yes. Tell me that's a heavy grenade over there in the box. Tell me, chat. Tell me it's a heavy grenade. Lie to me. Lie to my face. Lie to my face. Do it. Now we can finally get out of this maze. Holy shit. Okay, it's rifle ammo. I actually thought it was heavy grenade for a second. That literally didn't hit me. The game is lying. It's a fucking psyop, dude. Ashley. Whatever. Dumb bitch. You deserved it. Let's go! That's a heavy grenade! Okay, that might save my economy a little bit. Red, green, yellow. Look, there's a statue up there. I don't have any grenades, so I have to use the flash here. She's faking it, dude. Just for attention. I like my third mag ammo drop though. It's pretty good. Okay, huge, huge barrels here. Huge. 15 handgun rounds, shotgun shells. Okay, not, you know, somewhat adequately sized barrels. Do I flash here? I have no resources. Ashley? Risk it for the biscuit? Okay, thank god it paid off. Hey, Mama needs a new pair of heavy grenades. Let's go! Two! Come on, you can't be serious. That works.
This game is evil. The devil is in this game. The devil, I tell you. No, don't stay safe. Help me, bitch. I need you to throw a lamp. Throw it! Throw it! Double. No, 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 no. That was almost a triple collateral, but I choked. Out of the way. Never fine. Call me Harry Potter, because I'm the boy who lived. Nighty night. Nice. You sure you're all right? You're not burned, are you? No. Thanks for your help. I really did the trick. Nighty night, knights. Bitch! Thank you, then. Alright, I got two flashes. That's good. Two heavies is pretty good too. Three heavies now? No. Okay, I was coping. What about three now? Three heavies. No. Okay. Don't get stuck on that shit. <laughs> I've seen the ray clip. Huh. Dining hall. I want to sell this red green yellow because I feel like it's going to help a lot. Oh, I what the fuck? I'm trolling. Sorry, I'm just PTSD. I'm way ahead of myself. Yeah, not Pen. I'll be live tomorrow. I'm gonna do another all achievements run. Leon. This run was awful. Looks like we figured it out. I still don't have any regular grenades either. How many heavies do you need? You need three heavies and one regular for double Garador. I want to sell the regular and yellow, but I'm afraid I'll die to Novi's. If I don't have at least two heals. But if I sell it, the game will be like, oh, you don't have any heals in your inventory. So don't give me a heal, right? Don't scare me like that. Is that a clock? Yes. Save it for an emergency and then sell it if you still have it. Yeah, I guess if I like really need the money. I guess I don't need the money right now. I could just, uh, I will need the money, like, a Krauser or some shit. <sighs> Where do I make my next save? I guess before Novi's after the merchant. It's the only thing that makes sense to me. Static like first aid after the Novi's door, but you skip it. I mean, there's a first aid there and a heavy grenade, so honestly, it may be worth it on this run, since this run is so ass. Didn't I just say I was done? Or wait, no, the heavy grenade is not guaranteed. I remember Orch bitching about that. He thought it was, and then he went there and it wasn't. All right. That's what I was saying, dude. I just like pure copium. Just sell it now and then you'll get an herb, right? I actually kind of need to get a heavy grenade, so I think it's not worth it, even if I did get an herb, because that herb could be a heavy grenade, right? Like, I need the heavy grenade way more than I need the herb. The heck? Hmm. 
Make a save, break a barrel, reload the save over and over again until I get a heavy grenade. Just return to the main menu every time so that I don't lose any time on the S plus run. Do it all day until I get a heavy. <laughs> Spend six hours real time but zero IGT to get a heavy grenade. What am I at? One hour and eight minutes. Good pace. Okay. Good night and stay still. How's the golden knight pass through the armor that are blocking the door? That's a good question, dude. Golden knight's not real. Big man of your imagination. It's like a Silent Hill 2 boss, you know, they don't, they're not actually real, it's just like your your demons coming to fight you. I don't need to switch FPS here because this is free. I mean, it does help, but like it's 100% consistent at 120, so. So like, why bother? It's just a skill issue. I did not do double bag, no. I'm letting other people figure that shit out. Better setups and stuff first. Then I'll learn it. All right, so. Got some new way. Welcome. Got some rare things on sale, stranger. Your valuables won't do. This is what I'm talking about. <laughs> Body armor. Don't worry. I Heavy grenade recipe. As well. Large resource. Better to be over. Making a big dramatic interest is stealing my spotlight. Make a heavy grenade. Yeah, wolf plays next to the raid, dude. Appreciate that. All right, seven saves. I forgot to split. Too easy. On chapter ten, this is good. I'm obviously gonna get super lucky and kick crit to kill both. I fucking told you. I'm a, I am literally God. I don't lie. Shout out to Orchline for the stupidest, most inconsistent strat in the whole game. This is pro. You get this beetle on pro, right? Right? No, I don't think you do actually. Whatever, I'm getting it. I got my rounds confused, I'm sorry. No, you madman, it's okay. I'll be fine. I'll be fine. The wires are crossed. Don't cross streams. Waifu, opinion on the child labor shortage. I think it's a shame. These poor children just want to work and the evil prime minister of Malaysia is not letting them. Oh, please. Children yearn for the mines, dude. Look at this popularity of Minecraft. Serpentine. 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 Serpentine! Yo, what's up? How has the new patch affected the speedrun? It hasn't. 
Just don't update your game. Five head. I have no heals. I sure have a lot of small resources though. I had to parry. I am not Tyler Perry. This is the House of Pain. I want that. How are you guys not dead? No! God damn it. Why are they not dead? I hit him with three heavies in a regular. God, this run is so fucking scuffed, dude. I saw a spam an R, but I just not good enough, I guess. Yeah, thank you, Kabe. Glad you enjoy. Well, this is fun. How much CP does this run net me? Alright, nice try, FBI agent. But, uh, no. Did why do companies not know that they shouldn't name anything in their games CP? Like, are they really that disconnected from reality and the internet? I can understand Nintendo doing it, but Capcom? Seems like a pretty big oversight. A little serpentine through the through the hall there is really good, man. We do that like never get hit ever. I swear. Never last time where I got hit, but you know what I mean. Like never, hundred percent consistent. It's like everything else in this game. Bro! And the strat's over. It's ruined. Just like that. All because the fucking bloom. I can't shoot the goddamn bell through the bars. Hello, I shot the bell! I'm busy right now, sir. Homie's lagging, dude. Man, this is gonna be like an eight hour run.
This fucking sucks. It could easily be like six. If you have well, I mean, yeah, I mean, dude, honestly, if you had really good runs for both runs, like six, actually, it's crazy. This has gone catastrophically wrong in the new game pro section. And also in the uh, assistant section. It's gone catastrophically wrong everywhere, actually. Talk about sticking the landing. Thank you, Bayano. It was a good laugh. You know, it's hard to have a clean run in this game because it's already really long. Like two hours is a long run. It's hard to have that be clean and not have like a catastrophic mistake. But when you make the run eight hours long, you know, it, ma it makes it really hard to not make a mistake for eight hours. I'm eating chocolate. Does that count? I had a sandwich at the start of the stream. I can't do the faster one because this model is too short. She can't reach the ladder. <laughs> Well, how do you think I have this epic hot physique? I eat one bar of chocolate every eight hours of stream and don't ever eat anything else. Oh, give me a break. That's a red barrel. Like, why don't we just not... Wait. Did I even do the fucking merchant crafting? I don't even think I did, dude. I think I'm like, this run is all sorts of fucked up right now. Welcome. Yeah, I didn't get any of this shit. I didn't even get the gunpowders. <laughs> you can't go wrong with that. The fuck? Okay, what am I doing? I'm rocket launching Gigante, right? Yes. So I'm getting my routes confused, dude. I'm doing I'm doing too many route changes, too many new categories. I'm watching too much, too many streams. Look, man, there were so many merchants in that last run. My brain is fucking fried. Welcome. Well, then, what can I do you for? Dazzled. I don't get yourself killed. Now. Is that it? I think that's it. I'm like so confused. Dude, my head is all over the place. Cause like, you know, normally the route is you use all the spinels to buy gunpowder. And then you use that gunpowder to craft heavy grenades that you need for the giant for the Garadors, but like I didn't do that at all. And it was fine. I just had the heavy grenades. Even though I got like terrible RNG. I feel like the route that I'm doing right now is not very optimal. Like in my actual new game pro runs, not even on the all achievements.
No wonder resources were fucked. But they were fine. I actually didn't have a problem with resources. I had everything. I grabbed everything I could have wanted. That's why I'm confused. Like, I've got Omega Bad RNG. There's the achievement. I got Omega Bad RNG, but yet I still could craft everything and I didn't need to use the thing. I upgraded the Broken Butterfly twice. Like, you know what I mean, Jaxer? Like, I went into that area with, like, no heavy grenades. I think I got one heavy grenade. And I didn't buy any of the gunpowders and I had no gunpowder when I came into that section. But yet I still had three heavy grenades. I feel like you could just not buy gunpowders. You got two and crafted one. Did I just get like super lucky then and just got like two heavies? Like right now, I just got super unlucky and I got like a bajillion hanging ammo. I, so I guess I just actually did get lucky on heavy grenade drops and that's why that happened. It just seems weird that you would need to buy those things at all. In it for you. <laughs> no, need to be no, it won't should be. I said I'd help you, didn't I? A little hard for me to put my faith in someone who used to work for Umbrella. Too easy. So you Thank you. Heard, huh? They're no scum for. You don't need to worry about them anymore. But like my question. I don't know, I'm confused. Maybe it's because I've been playing this game for seven hours. I just want to feel but it feels like there's almost no reason that you would need to Something get all those spinels because like, even with the worst possible RNG, you should be able to craft heavy grenades without having to buy the gunpowder. I feel like even if you got super boned, you'd still be fine. Happens to be quite the ladies' man. Oh, he loves this mod. Hey, that time I didn't miss it. Let's go. Spinals, spinel, I mean, potato, potato. Oh my god, people run, Lewis. Jesus. He's booking it. What do you mean, dude? She's double cheeked up on the front and back door, dude. Those things cooped up down here too. The underground here is sacred to them. See, this is where they discovered the underground done spun around and done a 360. Of course they did. You're not suggesting we ride this thing. Okay, I need to no damage this. Any other way? Because I didn't do it on the first playthrough. Give us a push, Sancho. Who are you, Who are you calling Sancho? Soko? Save? Ah, uh, I have a save on assisted before I do the minecart. I did an incremented save. So if I didn't get it here, then. I can go load the assisted one and do it there. Going up the rails. But I mean, it's pretty easy. Mierda. Do something about those parts. 
You only need to do the second part damage. Get it I'm pretty sure this doesn't change at all on any difficulty. It is exactly the same difficulty on every difficulty. Like pro, assisted, doesn't matter. It's exactly the same no matter what. Same for Grazer, yeah, definitely. No, you take the same amount of damage too, I'm pretty sure. Or maybe not. Maybe that's just me talking on my ass, but... Feels the same. I never get hit, so it doesn't <laughs> I don't know. Don't shoot him, Lewis. It's fine. Come here. It's fine. Move along. Come on. The plot. All right. Let's go. Oh, not this again. That's a cool animation. This is where I got hit on my last way through those archers. This time I didn't get nearly as many shots on the uh, chainsaw guy, so I had to stun him. Saying the red barrel, the red barrel up there damages the that guy's cart. That would make sense actually. I never did what it did, but it did. Because it definitely had more damage than when I left it. Okay, we should be good now, I think. It looks like that's what happened.
This is the pro run? It is, yeah. One hour, 28 minutes. I'm trying to beat it in less than four. Like, the S plus should be completely free, really. The save requirement's the hard part. At the same time, definitely not Dalmic. But. I did want to do an all achievements run for OG RE4. It's never got around to it. You can see where they dug up the bugs. Yeah, I should get the achievement. Yep, there it is. How did I not roll there? That was sick. I want to do that every time. Rip. Can we set team achievements? Yep. Team achievement manager. Man, fuck you. Just a shotgun them. Doesn't Sam can get you banned? Nope. Welcome. Not to my knowledge. Ten saves. Chapter eleven. There's a lot of saves in chapter ten. I think so too. Holy handgun ammo throw. Hey, Michael Myers. Nice. Didn't even need to save. Too easy. Sure, just been a legend. All right. You won't get away with this, Krauser. Yeah, definitely better save than sorry. Especially with how this run's been going. Definitely better save than sorry. Okay, I'm gonna sell the knife 
repair the sh armor. Maybe Skylar, but I, I don't know. Would take forever. Got some new items in. Welcome. I got something new for you. <laughs> Thank you. you. Don't get yourself killed now. <laughs> I save the typewriter over here. Just in case. There's the clock tower. I need to get this achievement actually, so I have to save here. Because if I don't get it, I need to redo it. I still need the achievement for the clock tower, like never stopping. I only got four more saves. I guess I save at the start of chapter 13. God, I'm out of saves already, dude. Like, where do I save at? You can have 15 saves flat, right? Oh, you can save a 15th time. Fifteen itself is a ladder card. So if my next save is at like chapter thirteen merchant. Do I just gamble? And like my next save is browser three. You really know how to make someone feel welcome. I'm gonna play it safe. Not saving a regenerators is like such a toss up though. If you get like a really bad RNG, you could definitely die there and it's such a big time. Unless you do all of chapter 13 again, like holy shit. Okay, I can't have anyone get on this thing or I'll have to do the section again, so. That's fucking bullshit. Fuck. How are you not dead? The shield guy I'm worried about. I think we're good. Woo! That was sick. The nade came in clutch. I really wanted to use the shotgun on him, but I had no ammo, so. 
Yeah, I'll just walk. Don't risk it. You bitch. Don't miss the egg. I will try. Terrible RNG right now. Actually, this is the safer strat. Yeah, I got that one on the first playthrough. I'll make her. Nope, don't reload that. Trolling. I lost two bullets, it's fine. Ashley. No time to lose. That's fine. Reloading the Magnum is trolling. There we go. Say hi to chat. Hi. Hi, Ario. <clears throat> Alright, I'll save at the Merchant, I think. But then I probably won't save until Chapter 14, Krauser. Where do you think you're taking her? Take this way wide, just in case. Be perfect. Won't have to swim after all. I need ammo. Gotta check. Hi, hey, submachine gun again. Awesome. Parlington has been watching for the last eight hours, patiently waiting for the cat. All right, well, this will be my 11th save, right? Yeah, I'm just gonna save right now. I just, um, why did you deactivate that first and do the merchant first? Got some new ways. Welcome. I got something new for you. I'll buy almost in. Ah, I'll buy it at a high price. Pleasant travel. Welcome. Ah. Oh, this is my twelfth save. Nice doll maker. Split. Too easy. Damn it. Why was he stunned? What the fuck? Hey, a star. I'm so confused. I have no idea what he was done. I guess I'm a ammo game. Jesus, fuck, dude.
He is getting a collateral from the turret, I guess, but that turret was shooting at a crazy angle then. I'm not going to do the fire glitch on Sadler. I'm just going to play it safe. I don't have to worry about dying. So I won't save there. But I will save before 15. Because I'm going to do the turret skip. from the chat start of chapter 13 all the way to i'm not doing the fucking glitch he's gonna run into the fucking tripwire and kill us both um oh god utters sir don't hit me when i climb the ladder please We play it safe and dodge that shit. It's not professional. This is yeah. This is the last part of the all achievements run. Just gotta S plus pro, and then go into new game plus and buy a couple things, and I'm done. This is the scary part though. It's next like 10 minutes. <laughs> Single mother section. Ideally I play from here all the way to the Krauser fight without saving. And then I save, I guess in the middle of the Krauser fight, right? Is this without glitches? No, glitches, glitchless is cringe. It's definitely with glitches. Bruh. God, the range on these motherfuckers is insane. You know, I'm just gonna skip that treasure. I don't think I need it. I don't think it's worth it. It's like 10k, right? Or is, it, is that one 30k? Or is that 10k? I'm pretty sure that one's 10k, right? Move! Move! Oh, Jesus, dude. McDonald's loving motherfucker, dude. Double double with fucking large fry and a chocolate shake alongside some cheese curds, dude. Like. A large everything. Shit again. I'll do it. I see your toes in the top left. You know, trim those things. They're nasty. Thank you, Vinny. This motherfucker is on Team Slytherin, 100%. They never win the House Cup. That was funny, thank you. I know.
Actually, I totally forgot about that achievement. I'm glad I just got it. The achievement where you collateral the regenerator. I can't wait to get to the end of this run and not have all the achievements because I forgot about some of them. A part of my life. Howdy. I have notes open. I do. But I don't have notes for the New Game Pro section. I just do a New Game Pro run. I did get the grenade cells on our mouth one. Pickle E! Bitch! Who are you? Who invited you? Climb! It's the climb! Why are you flopping like a fish? Nitrogen canister? Yes, that's what you're looking at, a nitrogen canister. I understand now. This is S plus pro, yeah. Too easy. Gotta be a little bored after all this long of a run. No, it's been pretty eventful. Could you give me a boost? I did remember to split. I'm evolving. I have something I think you like. What I call the regenerators again? Single mothers. They got the physique of someone who drives a minivan for sure. Let's find another way. So yeah, this run's gonna be like at least eight hours long, but I really do think that it could be as low as like six flat if both runs go really well. But it's actually a pretty fun run, so I can see myself doing a couple of them. But it's a really long run, so I, you know, I can't do more than one run a day, obviously. So I, I was thinking, we work well together, don't we? I guess so. Right? Maybe someday I'll become an agent like you. What do you think? We could protect the U.S. from any and all threats. Is that right? Well, either way, first we have to make it out of here. Okay. <laughs> my next save. My next save should be like in the middle of the browser fight, like the t the pro only type lighter. I have a heavy and regulars. Okay, I don't need to go that way then. Sub six win. That would require so much grinding, actually. It'd be brutal. Alright, killer seven time. Two upgrades. Sell the knife. I already sold my knife. Yeah. Ruby's all rubbish, you mate. I'll buy it at a high. Honestly, this might be the only gun you need. 
crossing your T's, dotting your I's. Don't get yourself. Self killed now. <laughs> I have 11. I need how many? 17. I need five gunpowder to drop before the end of this fight. I have 11. I need 6. Okay. That's not what I need, game. Give me what I need. Nine bullets is just enough to kill, I think, at the end. But I'm going to shoot like two more, so. I need to craft one more set of mag ammo. Go with your gut, don't think. That was the first thing you taught me. Sloppy. Thank God I got handgun ammo for the handgun that I don't even have. Praise the Lord. Ready to die, rookie. I'm no stranger to covert tactics. From Remember? How can I forget? Shit. Cap, and this is where I save. Still alive, huh? you I am going to save and then break the box, so I can break the box multiple times. Give me gunpowder, smiley face. That works. Shock and shoulder are good too. What? I got stunned by that? Bruh! I got I ducked it and I still got fucking stunned. This game is dog shit, brother. Dog shit game, brother. Uh, I guess I sniper strat here. I completely roll underneath it. That works. Good backup. I'm not falling for your mind games. You're dead, sir. Please run away. You're really doing Thank this? you. Thank God I got that hanging ammo drop. I needed that. This is like enough, but I would much prefer to have more. Okay, thank you. Now it's enough. I love how I missed that first shot, dude. That's unfortunate. I was holding the crouch button. Toggle sprint moment. Fine. Whatever. Dude, I wish the gunpowder case is something that you could just get. Like, can you just buy it from the merchant, please? Like, why does it have to be DLC? 
Yeah, it's a dealer. Okay, I will save at the merchant. Sell a killer seven. One hour fifty seven. IGT, Ooh. not bad. Breaks over. Welcome. What can I interest you? Ah, I'll buy it at a high price. E Come back. Any time. Fourteen. I got one save left. So where do I use my last save? I guess just before Sadler. I think optimally I would have made a heavy there actually instead of a flash. What was that? Save before jet ski. I'm definitely not gonna die on jet ski. I'll be fine. Before turret skip. Yeah, that's probably the best spot before turret skip. Wait, I only have one heavy. Yeah, don't do that. Yeah, before turret skip. And then I'll just do the end bit and sadder, all that stuff all in one go. It's I won't die. It's like impossible to die. Opium. I owe you one. But my aim is so dog shit. The rocket sadder, yeah. Oh my god. What are iframes? Never heard of them. Listen, I have literally only died to Jesky one time. That was the first time I ever did it. Mike, hello? You got ammo already? That's not. There we go. Oh, Mike, shoot the fucker. Jesus. Mike is so goddamn useless, dude. It's a good thing he dies. I'll never show up in another RE game again. Until they remake this remake in like 10 years. Rocket launcher guy, chill. Chill. Bro! Move! What? All right. There you go. <laughs> okay. This game is dog shit. This game is awful.
No! Oh my god. This Oreo, please get off my lap, honey. <sighs> god damn it. Bro, what is this dog shit video game? Like... I flashed, of course, flashes don't work, so he doesn't get flashed because why would, like, I don't even know why I crafted flashes. They just don't do anything at all. Like, there's no point. Anyways, of course, he doesn't get flashed, of course. And then I shoot him with the shotgun point blank. He takes zero damage. What was that? And then he does an animation. I've literally never seen him before in my life where he throws me to the ground. Then, when I get up, he instant plagas, which obviously stuns me, because why wouldn't it? Pro obviously the superior category. That's actually insane though. That's so wild. What the actual fuck, dude? I'm almost not even mad. Like, it was like hilarious. Like, what the fuck was that? Almost. I am, ac I am mad, but I'm, I'm almost not mad. Like, how are you gonna plug it after I art? Like, I don't know, man. The grabs in this game are insane. Priority over even taking damage is wild. Wrong way. Bike, you showing up or what? Not bad at all. Better give him what he wants. Mike, all clear. Thanks, buddy. All right. Now watch me do my thing. This is fine. I love Archers. Archers is my favorite animated TV show. Oh my god, you fat fucks. Please move. Sub eight copium. I'll make sure you're the next to go, Sadler. One down. Burn a 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 burn
I think we can sub it. It's not gonna buy a lot of stuff in New Game Plus, but that doesn't take very long. That would be a great title for the video. How I got every achievement in RE4 Remake in under 8 hours. Just saying. Last save. Why not treat yourself right? Almost there. Ashley, I'm coming. Ashley, I'm coming. Under six sounds better, true. Eight's pretty good though too. That trick is actually free. The fuck? I do know about the shotgun method. I saw Zarian do it yesterday on standard. It's fucking sick, actually. Damn it. Does it work on pro? Laboratory B. I figured the enemies just wouldn't stun on pro, so it wouldn't work. The shotgun method? So you stand by the ladder on the right side and wait for a dude to drop down? And you just shotgun him in the legs when he falls and he flies that direction and you shoot him like four times in the feet on the while he's on the ground and he just slides into the into the range of the turret and you walk past that way. It looks really consistent though. Charlie to the legs guarantees a pushback. I don't know. That sounds like cope, dude. I'm pretty sure enemies don't stun in this game. No, uh, you do it in chapter 15, the one I just did, but instead of doing it the way I did it, you, uh, you do it that way. Enough! Did the devs, when they're making RE4 Remake Remake, and it to this part, this time, it has to be different. Big Booty Soko in every cutscene. Is this a reference to RE4 Beta? No, I'm pretty sure this is a reference to game dev just being stupid in 2023. Pretty sure this is a Last of Us reference. This time, it has to be different. Bro, you guys, so uh, we started watching uh, Naruto again with my girl last night. We watched... We're in the tuning exams. That's what. Too easy. And we're at. You're getting good at that. We watched uh, Top Dog last night, which was uh, Naruto versus Kiba. Honestly, like probably the second or third worst fight in that arc. It's kind of crazy though, because it says Naruto fight, but it's not even that good. But like that means that we literally just started Neji versus Hinata, and then right after that is Rock Lee versus Zagara. Sure, I'm fucking to... stoked, dude. She's not the type to roll over that easy. Hey, wait, Leon. It is. It is actually the best part of the whole show. Of like the thousand episodes, it's like the best part. 
Of course, I haven't told her that because if I do, then she's like, okay, we saw the best part. We don't need to watch the other 8,000 episodes. It's gonna be filler. We're watching the ocean cut. So that skips all the filler. And it also like makes everything into like big episodes that are like an hour and a half long. I had 200k before I even started selling stuff. Based. It's because I sold the broken butterfly, the killer seven, and the knife early. I know, my new game pro route is like not that good. There's like a bunch of holes in it. I pick up like way too much stuff and do stuff I shouldn't. Have uh, you ever played RE4 on many slime? It's always like that in every iteration of the game. For every boss. <laughs> it's heavy. Dude, Rockley versus Gara is like so hype, actually. Like, when he takes off the weights, you're just like, holy shit, shit's about to get real. Playing it safe in an hour run makes sense, though, so it's all good. Yeah, for sure. But I mean, the same shit happens in my actual New Game Pro PB, so. Okay, so after we get this S Plus Pro, then we go load the New Game Plus playthrough and go to the first merchants. And then we just have to buy every weapon. I think that should be it, and then that's the GG. I'm pretty sure that'll be every achievement. I did the shooting gallery, I collected all the treasures. I did the lift without getting hit. I did, or without anyone stopping it. I did minecart without getting hit. Well, I have to play through the first hut on New Game Plus, so like, there's actually quite a bit of time left in the run still. But I think we could squeeze a sub eight. The logo no miss is a challenge. It's not an, atro not an achievement. Like ninety nine point nine percent sure. I mean, we'll check the achievement list in a second, but. Killed Verdugo, killed Mendez, killed all the bosses. This run will give us completing standard, hardcore, pro, and S plus for all three. Smith Escape I already got. Yeah. On the first playthrough, but I'm gonna get it again here. I combined the crown for Max and sold it. It's not GG yet, but yeah, the pro section's over. Terrible Negan pro run. Awful, but whatever. Two fifteen. Promising agent, mission accomplished us plus proficient agent. Uh peerless agent, S plus rank investigator. Uh Bro. Here or if only I did that, yep, on the first playthrough. Didn't like Sakura versus Eno. It's pretty good. Uh, the, it's like, 
Mostly flashbacks and not actually a fight, really. But it's pretty solid. I do, I do like the soccer kind of evolves into a real character at that part of the show. But then, like literally, the same exact thing happens with Hinata, like two fights later, but it's way better. You know what I mean? Like uh, the Hinata Neji fight is like the same arc for Hinata that Soccer Egg does, except for like I think it's done better. Anyone home? You need to go into the shop and buy the hand cannon with CP first, don't you? Yeah, you do. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. I think the only achievement I don't have is um, all getting all the weapons. I can do that with the Tommy gun too. And the survival is nice. Oh, why hit new game? I'm trolling. I'm trolling! Sub 8! No! This one, bro. It's actually be really close. I think it's the only achievement I don't have. No. How far could he have gone? I don't know if I'm gonna make it. I think that's the last achievement I have. If anyone's friends with me on Steam, they can check. <laughs> oh, so the funny part about the ocean cut, though, is it cuts all the filler, and it cuts the fucking Tamari and, uh... What's her fucking face fight? The, uh... I can't even remember her name. In the preliminaries? No, 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 not Tamari Shikamaru, the preliminaries. Yeah, 10-10, yeah, that's what it is. It cuts the 10-10 Tamari fight, just entirely. Like, they just talk shit to each other, and then it just cuts to 10-10 falling out of the air and landing on top of her fan. Which <laughs> is really funny, and also it's basically what happens in the show. It just, it takes like 20 minutes for that to happen. All right, sir. I got something new for you. Ruby's all rubbish. It makes no difference. The prime. Ah. Two mil. Infinite rocket. <laughs> well, now. Come back. Any welcome. What can I interest? Now, what don't I have? Blacktail. Bolt thrower. Uh, striker. Stingray. Should be it, right? Welcome. I'm missing three hand kit. Oh, they're in my storage. I need to grab them out of the typewriter. I sold them. I'm trolling. Did I buy them from here? There we go. Time, I believe. 7.55. Let me check Steam. I think that's all the achievements. No, it's not. I'm missing two. What am I, what am I missing? Uh... What am I missing? Getting exclusive upgrade for a weapon. Defeat three enemies at once with a flash. Oh my god, I didn't get that. Okay. Um, these are not cheap weapons to upgrade. Uh, what's cheap? Pistol? PMP, I guess? Oh, 
how that feels, mate. A fella like yourself should notice the difference. <sighs> That's about all I can that any pleasure. Uh I've saved by nights. Did I increment enough times? I don't think I did. I think it's rip. Where do I get the kills? With the flash! Bro, this is so sad. Did the, did the crows count on chapter 3? No way, right? The parasites that crawl and wrecking ball. Wow. Um they count, the crows count. But I don't have any saves near there. Right? Chapter one. Chapter two end on pro. Wrecking ball parasites is my only option. Rip sub eight though. Yeah, I totally forgot about the fucking flash grenade one. I need to do it at nights. I was supposed to do it in the new game pro run. But I didn't because I was doing actual new game pro strats. I totally forgot about that. And I hadn't had any flashes anyways. It's the fucking RNG. Come here, bitch. Oh god, no, not these. I don't even know what I want. Just give me everything. Wait, there's there's crows. I don't have a flash recipe. I have some new good welcome. I've got something new for you. Let's go! So mean! <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> no way, dude. <laughs> oh, man. Fuck you, game. <laughs> oh, that's so good. <laughs> Alright, let me show my steam. Thirty-nine of thirty-nine. Oh man, <laughs> that's fucking funny. I definitely want to do another run because this run was dog shit.